Show. Comedian Jim Gaffigan joins us in the studio. A family man, a clean liver. Now, when you're on stage, Jim, you don't do a, a blue kind of show, do you? I'm very clean and kind of, uh, you know, I talk about cake for like an hour because, you know, cake's an <laughs> cake. important topic. Cake, Absolutely. tell me about cake. Oh, well, there's a lot of different. Cake's a powerful food. Cake can actually bring people together. You know, it's Bill's birthday. Yeah, I hate that guy. There's cake in the conference room. Well, I should say hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Who am I to pass day. judgment on him? <laughs> it's his big day. Yeah. I mean, admit it, when you hear the song happy birthday all you're really thinking is i'm getting some free cake <laughs> during the song you just wonder what kind it is hope it's chocolate for me <laughs> there's so many types of cake there's rum cake which makes sense because we've all been eating cake and thought you know this needs booze <laughs> Bottle of liquor i don't have time to eat and drink i only got two hands buddy and one of them's holding a cigarette <laughs> There's fruit cake. That's a bit of a disappointment. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'd think that would be better. Fruit, good. Right. Cake, great. Right. Fruit cake, nasty crap. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Have what you tried fruit cake? I don't even think that's fruit in there. You're like, when is that a Skittle? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A seed in here? What is this, a treasure map? <laughs> What's the recipe of fruit cake? Anything but fruit? Uh -huh. It's like the baker was just clearing off the counters. <laughs> yeah, put all that stuff in there. People don't eat this. They just mail it to relatives. <laughs> we all know cake's bad for us. You know, sometimes we try and disguise the fact we're having cake. It's breakfast. I can't have cake. I'll have a muffin. You know the difference between a cake and a muffin? What? Nothing. <laughs> How about those mini muffins? How much denial are we in when we're eating mini muffins? Oh, I'm just going to have like one or 12. They're so small they don't really count. They're like muffin vitamins. <laughs> Eat them, I feel like an astronaut. That's why I have them for breakfast. You can't have cake for breakfast. Unless it's a pancake. How'd that slide through? You're not having cake for breakfast. You're having fried cake with syrup for breakfast. Now load up on that and try not to nap. Get me, boy. Good morning. It's the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chicks. Josh Arnold. Chickster. At the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I want to get a good shot of me before I go to jail. I'm Chick McGee. Oh, God. He's on one, kids. What, what crime are you going to commit? Oh, I'm going to kill whoever that yep. is that keeps using go. my coffee machine and not putting more water in it. Here we go. Oh. Huh. Not me. I never touched that. it. Never used it. Don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Christy's all set. She <laughs> knows it's not her. All right? All right. All right. Don't drink coffee. Ace knows it's not him. He doesn't drink coffee. He's a vodka man. <laughs> Thank That's you, Ace. Right. He likes his vodka with Learned vodka. That. Once again, yesterday in the show, a staggering <laughs> moment for me. Uh, you could do it. We, what we should do is an eight, what I know about Ace Cosby drink, quiz. Drink vodka? Pass it around the room and see how we all do. Yeah. I would have flunked. I had no idea that, once again, the, the premise was if you had $1,000 in cash mm -hmm. and had to spend it before noon and you had to spend it in person, how would you spend it? And Ace, you said what now? I would visit the local. You said yeah, you actually. You said I, I would. Hit, I he would hit you said I would hit the liquor store, which I thought meant you were going to go rob it. <laughs> That's my understanding of parlance among you know. The, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the movie. I'm uh, not. Movies I've seen. I'm not agreeing with you on anything right now. And then you but said keep you'd, talking. you'd buy a thousand dollars worth of vodka. I've never seen you drink alcohol. Well, Tom, okay. in your defense, or in his defense, when are you around Ace? Well, outside I, of this room. I, I, I try to keep and it And then his <laughs> reasoning No, was, I, Ace and I have gone to concerts together. Ace I said... Is, Ace is the only one in this room who's been to my house. What well, do you like there. with your vodka, Ace? More vodka, he says. Yeah. Like <laughs> no, I said mix it up. Cranberry, Sprite, no, no, no I, vodka. I drink my vodka with Fresca. You're dead to me now. Oh, with Fresca. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. <laughs> well, that's just, that just Fresca. Sounds, sounds nauseating. And Fresca oh. made a hard seltzer, but I can't find it around here. It's oh. not bad, but the Fresca, the Fresca tequila is really good. <laughs> really? It's like a little margarita. It's like a skinny margarita. Fresca tequila? Yes. No kidding. Yuck. I yes. See, a fresca is what my elderly aunt drank. Fresca yes. is great. I'll have a Fresca and a tab. Now, around the holidays, <laughs> you bought a lot of bourbon, correct? Yeah, I, I do. I don't drink it. I gave it I to friends. Yeah. But but 
liquor, liquor can be expensive. Sure. Oh, you're, yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. that. I'm not an idiot. I, I, I went and bought some nice bourbons as, as gifts, but... I just, well, when, why, I, when you said you were going to mix vodka, I don't know much about it, but you don't mix wine, do you? Don't you, don't no, you no, want, no, I, I, don't you know, want like one kind of vodka if you had the good vodka? He's not mixing it. it in one sitting. Brands, different brands. Yeah, he misspoke. Yeah. He does spoke. Okay. It was just funny the way it came out. Yeah. You're right. All right. Yeah, okay. Because we try to be humorous, and I'm very humorous. Is it? Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's a curse, isn't there it? No go. idea. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> did, did you ever see the episode of Mythbusters? You know, I don't mind <laughs> when you... Tom talked down to me. I get that. But when he, Ace talks down to me, I got a problem. Okay? I got a big problem. Now, this is all going to tie into something coming up in the news that's my favorite story of the year. Oh, God. Does anybody remember the episode of the, the great show Mythbusters, which I always loved? <laughs> anybody remember the episode where the there was a there was a myth that if you ran vodka through tampons... Remember this? Anybody? Oh. Did anybody see this? No. No, 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 I did not see it. The idea was if you ran vodka through uh, tampons or whatever, or whatever tampons, pads. What are we talking about? Uh, uh, cotton, whatever okay. the crap they uh, that it would that, it, that you could make that you could make cheap vodka taste. You mean like a gauze, or it has to be a tampon? I think it had to be a tampon, as I recall. Okay, you make cheap vodka So it would maybe filter out impurities, and yeah. you'd have a, a, uh. a cleaner vodka. And then they had one of the. Ladies on the show do a taste test, and it was hilarious when she picked the, the the cheapest, worst vodkas were the ones she said were the best. This is right on brand for you, though, because mm -hmm. you love uh, stuff like this, debunking. But then, uh, but then, but then at the end, they had a wine guy. I think it was a someone who really had a palate, whatever you want to call it, so come in, and he got everything in the right order. Mm. And apparently the, the filtration didn't work, but it was pretty funny. But coming up in the news, we have... Well, I, when Tampons? I saw the, uh, Kotex is in a news in a context you're not going to believe. Aren't, isn't that what they call uh, female uh, female students at a technical school? Cotex, yes. Cotex? Uh -huh. yep. oh, Cotex. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my Cotex over here. Uh, yeah. Cotex? She's a Cotex. She's oh, a, you Cotex? She, she's a Cotex co-ed. Is that what it is? In any event, no, Cotex is in the news in a big way this morning. And I, I did, did you see this story, Christy? Of course I saw it. It's yeah. shocking. She, she's, uh, no, no, she, it, it's, she if you're a have man, anything, it's shocking. She doesn't have anything to do with your coffee machine, but she's up to date on, on tampons okay. and Cotex. It's, I mean, it's, it's, if you're a man, it's shocking. If you're a woman, you know... That this they go hand in hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Basically. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's I. It, it's I don't. It, it also involves Kotex, and they're special for Valentine's Day. Yes. Yes. Kotex can be toxic, shocking, can't it? Mm, the, yeah. It, it, uh, not you, that brand. That was a different uh, type, I believe. Wasn't that? Um, Kotex makes tampons as well. Okay, but the wasn't the toxic shock a different brand? Uh, famously. Just, you know, a, just a mild joke about a tampon <laughs> staying in too long. And, yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And again, anything. Much like this topic. No, no reason to analyze, yeah. no, uh, analyze it uh, uh, too okay. deeply. Uh, okay. Uh, also, now. why I don't speak until 645. I have to relearn this lesson once a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he's <clears throat> really waiting to pounce. <laughs> yeah. now, you should explain. No, uh, there is an explanation for my mood today. Yes. Uh, it's very complicated, but uh, the, no the, the positive aspect is Chick goes, hey, it really smells great in here this morning. Uh, and Does it, you guys smell something different? I did in here? smell something different. Yeah, yes. it and, smells and, like clean. Or and something. I, that's because um, uh, I was on my way out the door this morning and I smelled something. Turned out there was a an epic fecal event uh, involving one of my dogs, so I had, the I, I had to spend an hour cleaning it. And I, I have these pre moistened dog towels. Mm -hmm. Do you have these things? Mm -mm. They're, I don't. No. They're great. So you, you went once the everything else was cleaned up. You clean up the dog with these things, but they uh, have a really nice scent. So that's why I. That's why it smells so sparkling clean in here. Wow. Or maybe it's the bleach. Have you uh, maybe looked at what you feed your dogs? You've had more I, fecal events. I, I don't know. In this, the last couple of weeks. I don't know what's going on. And this is just the one, the the big, the doggy, the big boy. In any event. It's, oh. So I got here an hour late, but um, I'm okay now. But that's why. That's the that's the nice smell. Boiled yeah. chicken and rice. That's what that dog needs to be eating. <laughs> Oh, a veterinarian over here. All right. Yeah, of okay. course. Well, well, hey, took him out. Right. Well, yeah. Well. Caesar Malone over here. <laughs> <laughs> Get the dog whisperer over here. <laughs> I, I took him out three times before I went to bed last night. Oh. And I'm looking at him going, ah, ah, ah. That's my favorite. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, boy. When they look at you like, I 
I don't know why we're in the backyard. What's yeah, your problem? What we're mean? outside. We were in the front yard. We walked down to the end of the street. We walked by the guy who never lets his puts his dogs away with the invisible fence, driving there we me go. crazy. That there guy. we go. He never puts them away. They're outside no. the whole time. Yeah, apparently. I, it's really annoying. And then my, so I can't walk my dogs that direction anymore because they they get all out of focus because of those other dumb dogs. In any event, uh, <laughs> that's why it smells so nice in here in Ace Drinks Vodka. Have you, ever right. jumped, have you ever put your dogs real quick in the way back and you uh, want to go run an errand with them and you forget to take the collars off? Oh, they have to put the invisible fence. And you go yet. across the thing. <laughs> oh, I've done worse. What the hell's wrong with those dogs? Ever just... Have you ever been carrying your invisible fence dog collar? No, that Forget hasn't. that it's in your hand <laughs> and walk across uh... your driveway? Oh. oh, yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that too. <laughs> now, uh, Tom's not a dog person. No, he's not. Tom is a my dogs person. He's, yeah. he's a only my dogs. Yeah. You know what the worst? You don't other, like dogs. You other, like your dogs. Other yeah. people's dogs are the worst. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, right. it's, like, it's like other people's kids. It's just like other people. <laughs> or other people's kids. Let's face so it. Yeah. Well, how about other people's? Yeah, other you guys people. get on my ass. Like, I don't like other people. You None of you like people either. Okay? I got news for you. Of other people's friends? What's worse, other people's friends or other people's wives or other people's husbands? They're all awful. <laughs> the worst. Yeah, they really are. You know what I mean? Oh, Christy, don't tell me. Don't tell me you don't have a friend whose husband you hate. No oh, names. Oh, oh, she's acting like she's thinking about it. I am it. thinking. You don't well, have to think about let that. Me think. You know. Oh, come uh, on. I mean, what are you, how blessed if you I didn't. Have Male friends whose wives I hate. There you go. That's, oh, that's what we're that's about to, uh, How about that one uh, <laughs> female friend, uh, her husband, you'd like to just bang it out? No, I don't have oh. any of those. No, I don't have any of those. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm like Josh is taking the high road. I'd like to uh, put Josh in his place by just playing a little bit of audio from Josh. Oh, oh. I got 99 mm -hmm. problems, but a bitch ain't one to do. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> It's a bitch, bitch girl. <laughs> but it's gone. Bitch, bitch, the bitches. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Bitch. <laughs> okay, here we go. So much, so much for the high road. I like that. All right, now coming up, we have. Uh, I'm looking forward to this talking to a uh, comedian. Uh, and uh, ventriloquial artist. What's the word? Uh, ventriloquist. Jeff Dunham will be our guest. Also, Al Jackson. With the latest in uh, street lingo to bring me up to speed. What's the uh, what's the current street term for alcohol? Booch. <laughs> Frank. I said I said I'm going some dry. juice. I said I'm going to buy some booze. I was referring. We were having a That's little funny. get together. And oh, and uh, Kelly ripped me. You know, no one says booze anymore. Maybe your mom. Oh, Tom. she's <laughs> my yeah. listening. Hey, uh, you know, with the accent and everything. <laughs> what is it? What, 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 so what, what does she call it? Wait till you hear how you sounded just I was just no, kidding. What do you, you are so what, what is trouble. the street term? Well, what does Kelly call it? Uh, Alcohol? Yeah, I don't know. Liquor. God. What do you, uh, is liquor. there a street term, a hooch? Is that you know, there's, a, there's a, a, another school of thought that you don't worry about what people call it anything, <laughs> and you kind of use your own terms, and you're out there like, I'm going to go buy some liquor. I've never I known am. somebody who's in charge of more but yeah. has less power. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and my my big problem, he says, I know you don't like to have uh, me to give you advice, right. but that's not the case at all. It bothers me because I've never seen anyone so... <laughs> lost in his own life that's ready to give you advice on any situation. <laughs> well, this poor guy. Absolutely no ready No wonder he go. comes in here for four hours and bullies us. He's bullied the rest of his life. Yeah. Good God. Giggle water? I, I don't know. <laughs> I I, what's the... Yes, term? go with giggle water. Yes, that's what, fine. Ace, how do you categorize your alcoholic yeah. beverages? Vodka. You, we know it's vodka. Booze? Like an adult fresca. Adult fresca. Okay. Is there any way when we ask you a question <laughs> that you don't have to go out to the car to decide and then come back in and answer the question? Is there any way? Can we pick it up a little bit? I like to be factual. Uh, okay. Well, well it's, at this point, if you I like a pause. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> if, you, if you were listening to our program in your Raycon earbuds with them in your ears, you'd be going, oh, this is really great. I can That's right. hear everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Raycons! The Bob and Tom Show knows that, especially now, personal audio is crucial. A good pair of wireless earbuds, indispensable in 2024. That's where Raycons come marching into your life. Raycons everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever with the optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made, and they will not budge and fall out 
uh, your ears on the ground. Raycons give you eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. And Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of premium audio brands. No wonder. Raycon's everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. And don't forget about the awesome features like uh, customizable sound profiles and the awareness modes. Raycon's truly have it all. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today to get 15% off your order. You heard me. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. You score 15% off Raycon products. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up, my not in the same story, hot dogs and tampons in the news. <laughs> oh, um, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Yeah, you are, and thanks for tuning in. It does smell like barbecue sauce. Yeah, there is barbecue sauce. Christy made us meatloaf. I'm terrified. Um, we were we're celebrating Joe Day. Oh, yeah. wait a minute! Now we're we're being uh, it's meatloaf day. Evidently interrupted Let's here. Uh, we have uh, Christie's meatloaf has just been brought into the room. Yeah. Bob. Bob's what, going to try when, some. Of when the did you make this, Christy? Uh, two nights ago. Two uh, nights ago. Meatloaf is always day. best in the fridge. After, yeah. After, after a couple. Is there any other any fillers days. in this? Any no, fillers? Have, what's your recipe? Can you share your uh, recipe? Yeah, I use uh, ground chuck. Some barbecue sauce, a little bit of uh, Italian breadcrumbs, a couple of Is there of barbecue eggs. sauce on this? Mm-hmm. I wasn't listening. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> and then I... Uh, so what's the verdict over there, Bob? I, well, it's barbecue meat, meatloaf. I put barbecue and, uh, and? syrup on the top. To I've never, Is it I've good never, barbecued meatloaf? Or? Yeah, I've never had barbecue on my meatloaf before. Not and. bad? No, it's not bad at all. Hey, I don't thank like you. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, my kid damning with faint praise. I'm a, I can't eat. I'm a meat intolerant. <laughs> oh. uh, Seriously, uh, my kids don't eat a lot of this seconds is, uh, in my house. And this they, is very good. This is a, really a new like twist to a meatloaf. Yeah, I've never had kind of a sweet what kind of barbecue sauce? Well, well, can we get this uh, food show all over the... Like Sweet Baby Ray? Or... Yeah, Let's, uh, can we celebrate Joe Day again, Let's please? Let's do that. Uh, no, don't feed it to me. Here. Eat it. Uh huh. <laughs> no, it's very good. Thank you. You need to dunk it in ketchup, though. That's the way I eat meatloaf. No, I don't use ketchup in my meatloaf. A hint of dog food. I, just a hint. <laughs> I, I'm actually in love right now. My boyfriend and I are walking around town in a two headed Snuggie. <laughs> oh, it's getting oh, pretty intense. That's nice. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad, you know, because I, I have a hard time listening to the, the love, so you know, love songs with Delilah. Where are you calling from tonight? Uh, Where are you? What's <laughs> going on with you tonight? What's your name? <laughs> Requests and dedications. <laughs> Hi, Amy, calling in from Tuscan, Arizona. What's going on with you tonight? <laughs> you and Matt broke up. That's hard. What do you want to say to Matt tonight? <laughs> we'll play that for you. That's Penny Lover by Lionel Richie. Penny Lover. Oh, uh, you know what? I've had enough. That's, I, that's it. I'm, I'm in love. With I remember that very well. Maria, that is... Uh, for those that, <laughs> for those that get that, yes. oh, and for those that don't, you should listen to the Lila just so you do. Just that yeah. one just time, so you get so the intense. joke. They should have those songs. Aren't they're not good for people's mental health? Like they should have little footnotes at the end of every verse. You know, I would cross an ocean for you if that ocean led to an English-speaking country. Because at this point in my life, it'd be really difficult to learn a second language fluently. Not to mention the anti-American mm. sentiment. We'd have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> No. Wow, you are quite the literalist, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Baby, I would die for you if I were already dying and you just needed my giblets. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Bamford is our guest. She's not kidding. She Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs>
<laughs> they put the F in professional. Also with us, Christine Stedman. Now, you're a mom? Well, a mom and a grandma. I think you know that. I know. She's, I'm a grandpa. So is this how this works? Yeah. She's been married 27 years and still a virgin. Tough. Yes. Well, you know, I have a, I have a lot of grandkids. My daughter keeps having babies, has one almost every year. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, she called me the other day. She goes, Mom, guess what? I'm pregnant again. There must be something in the air. I'm like, yeah, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously. Hello? <laughs> Bang! Hey, hello? Sing! Uh, I'm getting her fixed. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Comedian Dwight Slade. I think they're overdoing the ID for liquor. We ID under 65. Bring your walker. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got carded the other day, and it's like, look into my eyes. You ever seen a 21-year-old with this much hate and bitterness in their eyes? <laughs> Yeah. Let's not count the birthdays. Let's count the dark angels. Uh, oh, the people who think and cluck at the same time. Eh? <laughs> how, how does that work? You ask them a question. You go, hey, are we doing dinner tomorrow? Dinner tomorrow. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you, an aborigine? Answer the question. <laughs> I want to go to dinner. You're hunting for Coke bottles. Let's go. <laughs> I know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked story. and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on. You realize it's not your girlfriend. It's just a woman on a bus. So <laughs> that's how you know you're too high. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and... Uh Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, friends and neighbors. We're all here. We've got the Ace Cosby joke of the day coming up. Do not worry. It's uh, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. That's right. No more January in 2024. Uh, it's now. Are, are you of the school of the February school or the February? You just kind of quickly run it together. Yeah, you kind of swallow it. Yeah. February. <clears throat> yeah. I uh, I had an English teacher who insisted on February. Mm. She ah. also she also told me how to say W. You don't say W. Yeah. It's W. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, she really hit it. Oh, she w. really. She w. Really. That's the first rule of broadcasting. Yeah. yeah. W. Yeah. Oh, hey, here's something. Uh, we just recorded this uh, this morning. From, oh, we did? From uh, Tom Griswold. Yeah. No one says bows anymore. Maybe your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, uh, I'm not sure who he's uh, imitating I there. I don't either. So. But uh, it's interesting. I was, just saying, I was just saying that I, I often use the slang term booze. So use booze alcohol. and don't worry about what other people are right. saying. I was just wondering if there was a contemporary. Uh... You know what today is? What? The end of dry January is what today oh. is. People are going to be February. blotto this weekend. I noticed yes. your hands weren't shaking this I know. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. When did that excited. become a thing, by the way? It, fa it feels it's fairly been, recent. Yeah, but yeah. a couple years. Isn't that a thing that uh, if you're, uh, I don't want to say alcoholic, but if you drink a lot and you take like two or three weeks off, it repairs your liver? Is that right? That or is, is true. That just, you can, is, that, is that absolutely You, you true? can cross a line, though, but it does yeah, repair yeah, yeah. quickly. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, many, uh, many cultures, many religions have a kind of time off. Yeah, um, a fasting process. Yeah, so Lent. maybe that's maybe yeah. that's part of the survival uh, mode. But uh, well, if, if you were celebrating Dry January, and welcome to uh, yes. good for you, oh, you did great job. It's gonna be exciting tonight. Here's uh, <laughs> an email from uh, Brad uh, in Michigan. Paran, I don't live in Michigan. I just want to get my email re uh, read. All Brad. right, uh, well done, Brad. Uh, this is for Christy. Yes. Let's start referring to your current husband as Sir Andrew the Fourth. <laughs> Could we not say not? current? <laughs> what, do you mean? Uh, what happened? No, I mean, it just said. gone already? <laughs> oh, he, so Andrew, you think it he's just... found his forever home? Yes. <laughs> with you? <laughs> wow, that's. <laughs> you know, that's so what's going to make it funny in so many ways. <laughs> really awkward when you kick him out. That's yeah, what's okay. yeah. uh, I thought this was forever. Now, he moved into your house, right? 
Yes. Technically. See, that's kind of a problem. You know Why what she, is that a you problem? You know what she asked me? What off, size skirt yeah. does he wear? She asked me <laughs> She asked me off the air. She goes, uh, uh, Chick, uh, have you ever had a storage unit? <laughs> Guess what and I'm doing go, today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had yeah some people live in those. <laughs> can, if, if a couple fights, can you send them to a storage unit? If a 5 foot 11 man would do <laughs> you think no, you can it's them? not that. We have extra uh, are you furniture. Are you shorter than 5'11"? Oh. No, we have extra furniture we the, need to store until my daughter moves. And 90% of the stuff in storage units eventually gets thrown away. There's I know. Such, such this is just for furniture. Your daughter's there, too, with you guys? My my youngest daughter comes back and forth because she's still, you know, never mind. It's a long story. Okay. Well, um, right. you know, She's going to move to Chicago this summer, probably. That's okay. So. You don't have to. Yeah. We know all this watching her OnlyFans page. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, Christy, I'll be honest. I, I've got an empty basement. If you want your furniture in my uh, Josh? Josh? Yeah. Can I talk to you at this next commercial break? Oh, sure, yeah. yeah Something no about how, what a good idea this is? Christy, uh, I have an empty apartment if you, <laughs> you want to get some furniture. Uh, oh, do you need some things? I might have sure. some extra. <laughs> Godwin's closet's half my clothes and several pieces of furniture. That's absolutely true. Sure. Actually, the way to go. I have furniture at... Willie's house I need to go get, too. That's part of it. Unbelievable. Who doesn't? <laughs> uh, now, um, That's true. Yesterday, uh, we uh, were discussing what would one do if given $1,000 cash mm -hmm. that must be spent in person by noon. Uh, you can't uh, do do anything other than spend it in cash. Well, how would you do it? Uh, Ace said he would go buy $1,000 worth of vodka, which was kind of a stunner to me. Um and uh, Josh, what were your thoughts? Were you were to get a nice, uh, nice fancy laptop computer? You thought? I uh, like some kind of desktop because I'm. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay. Re, I'm building an office in my house. Uh, Pat, and in, in, in whatever your financial situation is, you would go buy a new guitar. Yeah, a used one. My guitars are typically more expensive than that. I, see. Uh, I play with only the best. I see. I see. Um, got this letter. You didn't ask me again. Are you going to say shoelaces again? <laughs> Yes, I'm going to go buy some shoelaces if you Very must know. nice. You know, any uh, <laughs> pair of shoes can be picked up with a new pair of laces. You'd mm. be surprised. People will say, where'd you get that pair of shoes? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm going to fly laces. anywhere the sun's shining. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Airplane. Um, this guy writes, hey. <laughs> Can we? Can we have that recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I think he went out to the car name, with Ace. I don't know what's his, going his on. His name is Christopher. He writes, hey, <laughs> wake and bake time. If I got $1,000, I'd have a weed and pizza party, and you guys are all invited. Whoa. Oh, that's fun. Uh, huh. There you hmm. go. I'll check local listings for legalities. Weed and uh, pizza. Uh, and we now uh, turn to uh, Chick McGee at the sports desk. Uh, let's see. Where are we? The early money is on. They're taking the points of the Kansas City Chiefs to repeat as Super Bowl champions. Uh, the Chiefs face the 49s in Su Super Bowl 58 on February 11. That's next Sunday. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know what we're going to do this weekend. I have no idea. It's going to be a long off season. You got and if bowl. you say anything about the crap league that's out there, <laughs> the Senior Bowl is this weekend, oh featuring stars, Lord. future stars of the NFL. <laughs> future stars senior of the NFL. Bowl. Isn't this the pro? Are they like high school seniors? Is, is, the, is the Pro Bowl not college this seniors? It's college all star game. Yeah, it's oh. a flag football game. Yeah, on Sunday, you're going to watch that. Is that? Is that? I don't know. Oh, tonight also. Oh yeah, the uh, skills competition, including our favorite member. The NFL skills competition. Oh, is this the one where they, the, the, the uh, kick? The, uh, what is it? What's it called? Kick tac toe. Yes. Kick tac toe. That's exactly right. A lot right. of those skills things are fun to watch. Starts at 7 on ESPN. You know what the good skills thing is? Is the NHL does a great skills. Yeah, that's real fun. Presentation. Yeah. They put plates in the, uh, you break plates with the puck. It's really, really fun. Isn't basketball pretty fun too? Don't they do cool yeah. shots and yeah, that's dunking true. and stuff? Yeah, that's true. Indianapolis, yeah. Indianapolis hosting, hosting the uh, NBA All-Star. And uh, Steph Curry and uh, Sabrina Ionescu are having a three-point shooting contest. That'll be fun. Isn't Ionescu the stuff that uh, you uh, take to get high? It's Ayahuasca. It's Ayahuasca, yeah. That's oh, sorry. Didn't Aaron. Ionescu write rhinoceros? Aaron. Oh, very good. <laughs> uh, very nice and literary. I've got a literary joke coming up just for you later on, Joe. Oh, why wait, Tom? <laughs> I'm sure you, it goes with the story. I mean, there are teases, and then there's just cruelty. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it goes with the story. We, yeah. I, I put it this way. Um, <laughs> uh, oddly enough, uh, for the second day in a row, we have syphilis in the news. Um, mm. 
uh, was a big story yesterday, and it's it's a, a story in science today. If, science. If you let it go, can syphilis kill you yeah. or your yes. disease? Absolutely. It Absolutely. will. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Your, lots of the brain. I think with, brain? Yeah, with Capone, didn't it go to the brain? Yeah. It, it can oh, paralyze boy. you as well. It's it's uh, no joke, as mm -hmm. they say, but un unfortunately, the uh, what is it? The rates have gone up in the United States. Hmm. Huh. So, uh, yeah. Get tested. Yeah, uh, you could have syphilis. That might be what's wrong with you. Your brain's rotting. I'm not, I'm not going to get tested. What if I find out I have syphilis? <laughs> this is why you say things like this. No one tests bows anymore. Maybe your mom. <laughs> Since you've got syphilis. You're insane. <laughs> um, actually, I wanted to talk about something because I know Pat has a song about this next story. We're going to have a song now. Yeah. Um, this was oh. a story. At, fir at first, you think, okay, this guy's an idiot. And then when you find out the circumstance, you go, I'm with him. And the story was there was a, a, a commercial aircraft full of passengers on the tarmac in uh, Mexico City at the airport. Correct. And um, uh, it had been sitting there in the heat, I guess, for five hours with no air, no, no air ventilation, flow. no water. The passengers had had it. So this guy pops open the emergency exit and hops Over out on the plane. Hops Over out the, the wing, wing. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now the rest of the passengers are defending this guy because they're trying to, you know. Saying they saved his their lives. Yeah. Yeah, there's a point at which when the plane's sitting there that long, you got to... Yeah, 77 you know. people signed a statement saying this guy didn't do anything wrong, that he actually helped them. Okay. Now, uh, Pat, you said you have a song on this topic? A little Bette Midler, I think, for this. Oh. <laughs> it was so hot, stuck on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat was streaming down our face. You were so brave to make a stand. You opened the exit door, we lent a hand. Now the world knows that you're our hero. Inside the plane, it was a hundred degrees. They're Latin. You're being detained, but you have no fear. <laughs> For you are the man on top of the wing. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, the, uh, uh, <clears throat> the the poor guy. They're trying to go after him. And he, I, he was standing on the wing because he, he didn't. He wasn't by the one that has the slide because that would have been fun. <laughs> What's the longest any of you have had to sit on the tarmac or whatever? Oh, my God. About an hour and a half. Uh, seven hours, maybe. Seven uh, what? hours? Yeah, no, nowhere yeah. close to an hour, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe an hour. Uh, I had to sit on the tarmac. I thought, weren't you guys with me in Las Vegas? Because uh, oh, uh, Gore, when Al Gore right? was yeah. landing. The vice You're president right. was You're landing. Right. Yeah. Right. What bearing our sitting on that plane had to That's do with right. anything? I was making out in the back. It didn't seem like a very long time. About, a, about how long do you think that was? That doesn't count as a mile high club if you're not off the ground. Well, you don't She's know. Right. You weren't there. Okay. All right. Oh, I, I, we you, were, can't, you can be on a plane to be in the mile high club. No. You don't have to be you in the You gotta be up in the air. You gotta be up in the air. has to be up Crap. in the air. Those are the rules. It yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, we, I think we were sitting there for about an hour. And yeah. It was... <laughs> Changed my vote. I was so pissed. <laughs> Do you remember the first time we flew to the Bahamas and you wisely pointed out as we're landing in Nassau, the Bahamas, there was a crashed airplane yeah. on the other yeah. runway? Yes, there, there was the wreckage of a <laughs> wreckage of an aircraft. That's so good. was just so sitting funny. there. You know, it's very Bahamas. It's still there, I think. Mm. And I heard <laughs> from uh, somewhere in the plane. What the hell is that? <laughs> it was a crash plane. Oh, now you land in the Bahamas and they go, oh, well, we've just landed in the, the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little scary right now. It's Jamaica sad. and the Bahamas, be careful. That felt like home to me. I like, we went there like, oh, I still I loved, I loved it. I'd Every love to go. February, it was love the awesome. Bahamas. Yeah, there's a problem. And it's in uh, certain, uh, very so, specific areas. I think yeah. it's a problem with the locals, right? <laughs> We're having trouble with the locals, I think. <laughs> That's a great term. <laughs> well, we're having trouble with the locals. <laughs> we're having trouble with the locals. Yeah, well, they sell it to Disney World, let them take over. You stay at the resort, you'll be fine. Okay. Now, um, uh, we have uh, some sporting news, but also coming up, as I mentioned earlier, we have hot dogs in the news, and we have uh, Kotex has a hilarious... Oh, I, I'm so pleased with this. Uh, Kotex has a big Valentine's Day promotion. Tom, have you heard the big Universal Studios news? They just announced, uh, you know, they're, they're expanding their parks, and they just announced some of the new uh, parks that they're going to have. Now, one of them is the Dark Universe 
Uh, and it's going to be the old classic Universal Monsters. Your Frankenstein, your Dracula, oh, your Wolfman. cool. Tom, would you, if they have a creature from the Black Lagoon ex oh my God, experience, there. will you go on? Absolutely. You would, you would, <laughs> instead of still being scared about it, you would want to go and experience it. Face your fear. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but the issue is, and this all started with a discussion, I think, off the air with, uh, with Josh, about how when I was a kid, Mr. Dalton crossed the street, the guy that called me Tomcat, mm -hmm. right. for a birthday party for a bunch of whatever nine-year-olds played the movie Creature from the Black Lagoon, terrified me. I was ba barely able to go swimming for years. <laughs> yeah, like it legitimately got to me. Oh, it really got yeah. to me. And in your defense, uh, at the time, cutting-edge special effects. I, I don't know who was in that, that suit, movie. Holds up. Yep. If you watch that, still looks that, pretty good. Still it, looks great. It's in yeah. black and white. The Gill Man. The guy that played the Gill Man just died a little yeah. year yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. I said that uh, we don't know who he is, and I realized I remember what he did just die. It's tremendous, day. but uh, yeah, I'd love to see it. But I think for certain things, you've got to tell kids there are certain things kids shouldn't see because they're going to be dreaming about them and you had an experience in your life that was pretty serious when you were a kid yeah to where i saw some a reminder of it recently and started to have anxiety and i went why am i feeling anxious about that and I went, oh yeah that's right i i watched it. but it was like that was more serious than creature from the black yeah i know no. it was it was a serious thing but it triggered <laughs> uh, it, it triggered something in you as an adult as a grown and man and i think in our culture now because of the prevalence of everything on a phone you hand a kid a phone, and in two strokes, they can be watching whatever hardcore porn or terrifying whatever. It's, it's tough, man. Yeah, and, it's, and you've got to kind of filter some of this stuff out. But I mean, as a little boy, I was terrified by that. Sure, but I would love to go see it at a at a theme. They park. had like a cool water ride, and it would pop out every now and again. Or and something. I spent I spent two days at the Harry Potter thing at Universal. I couldn't get over how great it was. Yeah, yeah, now they're going to have a Nintendo World and uh, the oh, Dark my. Universe. Is this all in Orlando? How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, it's going to be. Oh, man. Yeah. They're going uh, right after Disney. Take that, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> but the great thing about it is both are so yeah, awesome. Yeah, they're both oh, I know. Great. They're two different, whole different experiences. But just, yeah, they're awesome. And I wish Disney would take my advice. They need to have a, a, a park that would uh, cater to uh, young teens and and, and like to uh, people to, that want to get on really cool roller coasters mm -hmm. and to pull them away from the stuff for the little kids. And I've, oh, I've never figured out why they haven't done a roller coaster that looks like Mickey's ears. Oh, hmm. yeah. It would they be so obvious. Sort of like that. And don't you take credit for naming the lakes in Orlando or something like that? Wasn't that your idea? Or you, uh, say, you say? They or? used to call it uh, Lake Buena Vista. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Now they call it, what is it, Downtown Disney or something? Uh, it's a shopping area, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Downtown yeah. Disney. Yeah. Um, My but, girl just got back yesterday. Now, we have to move forward here. But like I said, coming up, hot dogs and tampons, uh, not in the same oh story. My. Oh, Dogs thank and tampons and other insertions. Fuzzy dogs. <laughs> Did I hear the word rectal just now? No. Nope. Um, we have also a, a couple <laughs> pretty cool world records. We have shark news. Nope. A bizarre polar bear story. <laughs> Um, and uh, because Valentine's Day is just around the corner, we have uh, interesting chocolate news. Mm -hmm. uh, is that true? Is that a true statement uh, during uh, women, uh, during that the, yes. the cycle, they w crave chocolate? That's the reason I said. Is that true? That's why and, and, women and, will understand the story. And, and we, yes, won't. we have a whole oh, thing coming up that yeah. will tie that all together. Right. Also, uh, Grateful Dead slash Dead and Company news um, uh, involving Las Vegas. Oh, not a bit. Not really. Not really a big. Surprise. I'll give you a hint. It's going to be a ball. Oh, it's going to be a big ball. That's a pretty good choice. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who else is already set for the spear thing? Uh, uh, fish. Oh, they are. Oh, really? Uh, Dead and Company. John Mayer. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? They're, yeah. They're, 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 that's they put source, up, sources say that's going to happen now. Mm -hmm. They put up the video that the skull uh, lightning bolt head on the on the sphere and the tie dye looked really cool yesterday. What would be the least likely concert to put there? Um, James Taylor? <laughs> yeah. Something yeah. Uh, mellow, totally maybe. unnecessary. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. What would it be something? <laughs> maybe Vic Damone because no one knows who he is. Maybe that's <laughs> he would alive. Be, I don't know. That'd be special, very special. Yeah. Now, appearing at the sphere, the nitty gritty dirt bag. <laughs> 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 this seems to be a booking error. I'd love to see them, but... Yeah, yeah, show oh. pictures of guys playing banjos. You know. <laughs> yeah. uh, right now, I want to say hi to my friend Steven Singer. Uh, Steven Singer has a thing for you. He wants to rescue you, fellas. Please pay, pay close attention. Ladies, too. 
Uh, you got Valentine's Day coming up, and don't forget it's an obligation. If you had that, if you had this discussion, well, I don't really want anything for Valentine's Day. Okay, Valentine's Day comes around, and uh, uh oh, you're in trouble. How about taking care of it right now with something really cool? Steven Singer Jewelers. Now, Christy Lee's wearing that beautiful uh, bracelet. Yes, the At Last bracelet. It's beautiful. You'll love it. How much it's was that? Two hundred and forty-eight dollars, and it looks like it's worth thousands. I'm not kidding. It's, it's a beautiful. Beauty. What's it called? One more time. At last. The at last bracelet. Mm. But I, I want to talk about the uh, the beautiful Malibu pink gold dipped roses. These things start at fifty nine dollars, and it's a gold dipped rose. Uh, then it's hand painted. Uh, the 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 color this year Malibu pink. Lots of others to choose from, of course. And this arrives in a beautiful box. So it's uh, got a personalized Valentine's Day card. Free shipping, of course. And a, a nice, nice collectible box, so it's really pretty, and, and it's it's uh, going to take care of your whole Valentine's Day thing with one or a couple strokes of the uh, finger on the phone, if you know what I'm talking about, by going to IHateStevenSinger.com. Check out all the uh, great jewelry. Earrings are always a big idea. Christie's idea is a good one. You take the rose, mm -hmm. and when you present it, you dangle the bracelet yeah, the, from the top of the could rose. It could be, or it could be wrapped around the inside of the there rose. And it'd my be so idea pretty. was to take some delicious uh, peas, uh, high peas, in, high in protein, and then put diamond earrings in the peas and tell her to eat carefully. Oh, not oh. pee on, not pee on the jewelry. No, 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 P E A. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. vegetables, some, some high quality protein. Mm. Uh, beware of knockoffs. Watch out. Uh, go to IHateStevenSinger.com and Stephen is S T E V E N. IHateStevenSinger.com. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Get the order in before 2 o'clock Eastern time today, and it's out the door. That's right. You'll have that Valentine's Day thing all taken care of. You won't be buying the flowers from the guy under the bridge. These roses sure are nice. They smell like cemetery vomit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because that's where I got it. The corpses are vomiting, <laughs> evidently. Yeah, barely. Or the, uh, the, the implication is people are so bereaved <laughs> that they're, they're physically sick. sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you think it's appropriate to put that into a Valentine's Day yet? Uh, no, it's, 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 it's appropriate to say, don't be that guy. Be the guy that goes to IHateStevenSinger.com. You're going to thank me. Good thing such Steven a nice, likes us. Such a nice guy, Steven. Yes. Singer. And you're yeah. just, just, what a mess. That's <laughs> what Terry Vaughn. Ian all over him. Sorry. I'm going to have to run a name. Make yeah, we got to go. <laughs> We're dog buddies. We're coming right back. Tampons and hot dogs in the news. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there. Our house band today, the Black Moods. Smack Tom, Smack Tom. It's time now to uh, Smack Tom. He's been running his mouth again. He's been pissing us off again. Smack Tom, Smack Tom. Smack Tom. I'll, I'll, I'll handle the lyrics. <laughs> and we Smack Tom. <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day, parties, or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Glad that we're back. I just suffered through six minutes of Josh and Christy shopping for candles. No, we weren't. Not you quite. weren't even paying attention. Yes, and then Josh goes, I've got a coupon. No, we were looking for an avocado tool. Yes. New tool. tool. You know what? Oh, I'm yes. Sorry. I we do did. have a coupon, and what's wrong with that? He goes, I'm going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond today because I have a coupon. 
and he'll get a coupon. I'm going to get, get, get candles and an avocado tool. Yep. What are going to have? Pennant, a t-shirt? <laughs> what kind of candle are you getting? What, fla- what flavor candle are you looking for? I like pumpkin. That's uh, oh, now's a good time for that. Yeah. Good time of year. I object, but I happen to have Do you ever a go into a candle <laughs> myself, so I, end of my objection. Do you ever go into a store and pick up something, and you don't really look at the price, and you take it up to the register, and they go one oh one ninety eight, and you go, what? What? <laughs> uh, I 101.98? Did that. I, I went, I bought two candles. You know those two little wooden candles I have on the kitchen? Yes. Table? Those are 50 bucks a piece. No kidding. I mean, I, <laughs> I well, couldn't the, believe That's why off the air I asked Christy, why are candles $95? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I said, plus people are stupid enough to and pay And being it. a media darling, I couldn't say, well, I just <laughs> need to put this back. Yeah. I'd rather not pay $50 for a candle. But I said, nah, I'd wipe my butt with 20s. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> boy. I, now, was it an anatomically correct uh, phallic candle of some sort? Yes, I could use it to aid my masturbation. That's right. <laughs> oh. I should probably use Something from the Liberace. Uh, <laughs> Christy, to answer your question. <laughs> what was my question? Yeah, when, uh, you, uh, when you guys were you. talking about avocados, uh, you asked if there was an avocado vodka. Um, 10 best avocado drink alcohol recipes. Uh, uh, there are, uh, right. yes, uh, you something can make called avoca- avocado. Uh, I'm vodka. sorry, what? Avocado, <laughs> <laughs> too, Tom. No. I think Chick I, does also. Avocado. That's, that's, that's a Russian bluegrass band. <laughs> no, avocado. <laughs> avocado, no, you avocado. That's, a, we've that's all a Genesis song. <laughs> Perduro here. <laughs> when you need to get gooned on the goofy juice, it really helps to shop around. And there's no better time than now, as we're getting giddy at Anesthesia City. Mm-hmm. It's our once a year Malaise Days. Malaise Days! <laughs> Bring in your Zoo Book coupon and we'll knock off an additional 50% on scratch and dent ethers, pentothals, and nitrous. Anesthesia City! And oh yeah! Free balloons for the kids. Hey, if they're real young, make sure they don't suck on any of that balloon air, if you know what I'm saying. Anesthesia City, open every day, 10 until 10. Nine. I'm Ed Padurl saying, so what's it going to take for me to put you in a coma today? Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy, and you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. And I'm not stupid. I know there's more to life than just sex. It's just none of those other things feel as good as sex. I mean, I love cookies. Oh, yeah. But if I do not have access to cookies, I will not rent a movie and watch two other people eat cookies. (laughs) (laughs) A perfect stranger Uh (laughs) eating cookies. No. Nothing. No. Uh How do you not think about sex? Everything on TV, sex, you know, all the commercials, very beautiful women in all the commercials now. It doesn't even matter what the product is. It's just very sexual. Mm -hmm. And then you finally have sex, and it's it's kind of disappointing. Mm -hmm. Where's my Sprite, my new car? (laughs) (laughs) All I got is a Saturn station wagon. (laughs) (laughs) It's a Saturn station wagon. That's why I think women should have shelves next to their bed filled with prizes, depending oh. on how well you did. You know what well, I that's mean? That's a good idea. Like they do at the carnival. Uh-huh. Sure. That's they great. have something to shoot for, you know. Are you going to take anything from the third <laughs> show? Right. Oh, no. right. I'm going to go for the Van Halen mirror tonight. <laughs> we might as well take it to the next level. Though. I, I want to see the... Uh, that should be the next reality show, the Oz couple. Ozzy Osbourne and some other unintelligible foreigner living together in their little adventures, you know. Arnold Schwarzenegger runs in with an apron on. Mm. Listen to me, Ozzy. I, I can't have dishes sitting around the kitchen all over the place. <laughs> oh, gee, I just said breakfast, man. Oh, oh, yeah. I, yeah, it's cool. I mean, every time I go out of town, I come back, it's like a war zone in here. <laughs> I can't live like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get around to be a guy running in here like a Nazi. I don't know. As soon as I learn how to do another impression, I'm getting another roommate. Man. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all concentrating on it's the first day of February. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Mm-hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, the Super Bowl coming up. And you know what we're what it's almost time for to check in with all the different animals and who they're going to pick for. 
Oh, yes, like the, the octopus. Bowl, and Super Bowl uh, winner. Yeah, I think we had an octopus at one point. We had a couple of bears. We had an elephant. We if I remember correctly, Chick, the, the octopus was real good. Octopus. Like, often pick the winner. Had nailed it. Um, <laughs> so odd. The real, the, the, the real question is, what will the Chick McGee pick? Uh, with the shoeing of the week. It's up on my Instagram right now. It's oh, already. Lock. You know what I think Instagram lock, should Daddy. offer? What? what? Instagram should offer this, Chick. So oftentimes you will uh, put up early picks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. You should be able to post something, and if people want to open it, they have to pay a dollar if you do something like that. I get the feeling I'm leaving money on the table. It's not you. I don't think <laughs> Instagram offers this. Oh, I see. But I think, you, I think they should. Like, hey, like let's say Christy was on vacation. Yeah. And she, you posted a picture of you in front of the Eiffel Tower. Right. But for a dollar, we could see you on the beach. Oh. Don't you think they so should you, kind of take a little you bit? You want a, a paywall for this narcissistic exercise I and think, look at me? I think it would make <laughs> people a lot of money. Yeah. Now, uh, as soon as they're done with their uh, hearings in D.C., maybe they <laughs> 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 Maybe they could eventually work on something like that. By the way, I think, uh, I, I don't want to speak on behalf of Josh, but uh, we're both hooked up with Cameo, right? Yeah. We, we, we can send you a, a personalized video. Uh, wish anyone you'd like a happy Valentine's Yes, Day. you can. That's exactly, the link is in my bio on Instagram. And but. we're now reasonably priced. What We've started at $2,500, and that, it, yeah, it, it, that yeah. turned uh, out. Almost no one <laughs> took advantage <laughs> <laughs> So, um... Uh, so you'll like sing happy birthday to someone? For yeah, I've done that before. Yeah. I've uh, happy birthday, Merry Christmas. Uh, Trying to get Ace hooked up with that so he could tell a joke. Bar mitzvahs. I still want Pat know. to get on there. He could do oh, songs. Oh, sing a song? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Probably some copyright issues, but uh, you know, <laughs> not with his original. Not with your own end stuff. End, end up singing a song to some proto fascist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when the guy God. goes on trial, they, here he is with Pat Godwin uh, that is as such he's a being great take, taken to the death chamber. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's. Uh, uh, did, dip our toes into the world of real Ouch. sports. What Where are we here? What happened? I hit my chin on my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop Ouch. that. Uh, it seems like you can just uh, about bet on anything uh, in the Super Bowl, but you can't, you cannot, Tom, pay attention. He's not paying attention. <laughs> <I'm listening. laughs> no. You cannot, pay a you cannot bet on whether Taylor Swift shows up or how many times she's shown on TV. You oh. cannot do that legally in the United States. Betting laws vary from state to state, but wagering generally is limited to what happens on the field. Ah. Las Vegas, where the Super Bowl will be played, has strict rules on what kind of wagers can be made. If you have to bet on Tay-Tay or against her or whatever, you'll have to go with a sports book in another country, which, uh, bad news or good news, readily available in your pocket <laughs> if, you'd, if you'd like to do that. Yeah, that was my question yesterday. Can you yeah. bet on how many times she'll be there? And huh. uh, Shown, rather. You can, uh, you can bet on the color of the Gatorade. You can bet on heads or tails. You can bet over-under on interceptions and receptions and yardage and who will have more touchdown passes, uh, Lil Brock Purdy or uh, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, the real quarterback. And uh, I see. What? What's that? I can see your pick now. I'm, I'm getting uh, hints. Can you, see, left can right. you see my pick from there? <laughs> oh. And we're going to come back. The moon. M-O-O-N, that spells moon. The moon has something to do with the Super Bowl and the outcome. My goodness. And I will crack the code for you. Mm. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Mm. It's true. Okay, all right, I'm skeptical. Uh, coming up, polar bears in the news. And they're in, uh, where are they mostly in Montana, right? Uh, actually, um, no. Not this one. Not this one. Um, and this one's also stuffed. We have... Um, uh, a big, coming up, big a meal. very unusual promotion uh, from the Kotex people. Oh. I'm uh, really surprised. Yeah, you're gonna just, you're gonna like this story. I am. Yeah, I think it's fascinating. Have you ever bought Kotex for someone, or or tampons, oh, or course. whatever? Huh? Absolutely. Hey, I mean, it too, absolutely. That's that's. Yeah, you've been married. That's you've been where, in a that's, relationship. That's where cell phones come in handy. You know what? Because you call up and go, okay, I'm standing in front yeah. of the 10,000 options we have. 
Which one do you want? You know what, though? It's really a great way to pick up women, asking them. Uh, oh. Uh, go to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah you... Just stand there in the aisle and yeah. wait. You look them. like you might be my wife's size. <laughs> <laughs> Would you use this one? Let me see here. Yeah. Is this the one? What's the old joke? Is this the one you pound in? Oh. Or, uh, or, uh, oh. or you push in with your thumb or pound yeah, in with a hammer? hammer. Yeah, that's the joke. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, that's coat tax, I think. Uh, when we come back, we'll touch on all these things. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. It is a nice neighborhood, um, but uh, you know there are we're we're on uh, like uh, the backside of the South Pasadena, so, mm-hmm. close. so it, although it's nice there, where a little the crime starts just to the other side of us, and uh, we had a uh, we had some police activity in our neighborhood not too long ago, I see. and uh, obviously a little scary. I'm supposed to be the defender of the home, mm-hmm. uh, currently with a vitamin D deficiency. It does take a little bit uh-huh. of the edge off your confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if someone breaks in your house, you know, when your first concern is not the burglar, but did he leave the front door open so a strong wind could snap you like peanut brittle? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I understand. But a buddy of mine, someone broke into his house, and he he did not react the way he thought he was going to. He did what did he do? Well, he, what he did was he hid. Oh, oh, really? And, yeah, and so now he got terrified. He wants to buy a gun to defend his home, and he's never used a gun before in his life. And Uh-oh. I was trying to convince him. I said, you don't need a gun to defend your home. You're not a gun guy. What you need is a baseball bat. Yeah. The baseball bat is the perfect home defense weapon because sure. any idiot can swing a baseball bat because yeah. you don't have to be baseball good. You just have to be pinata good is all yes. you have to that's be. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Point, as a matter of right. fact, the more spastic and unstable you are, the deadlier you appear to the intruder. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. So a gun in and of itself is a dangerous weapon. You could be handling a gun and accidentally shoot yourself, but no one has ever been cleaning a baseball bat and accidentally beat themselves to death. <laughs> true enough. That's As that does true. happen, that's an acceptable loss. Let that man go. Yes. <laughs> that's very true. Now, in my know. fantasy of, you know, uh, defending the home, is usually I'm kicking some serious butt, and then there's usually like a catchy phrase at the end, uh-huh. tag it with something. Even if the guy's got his foot on my chest, yeah. I'll look up at him and say, well, 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 I guess that was easier than even you anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. James Pete Connolly. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. We're ready if you are, uh, Chick. Heck yeah. Okay. Why not? Wait a minute. Uh-huh. I have a question. Are we just going to do this right in front of everybody? <laughs> and, Doctor, I, I assume you just go in with one <sighs> finger. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. It's, yes. I got to right. warn you. Joyce left the uh, lube in her car last night. Oh, oh, oh it should be good funny, and cold. Funny stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's always cold lube. Uh huh. Why don't they? Yeah, they should use a warming lube. Sarah, start playing the violin. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't hear the screams. Yeah, yeah. right. so, you, know, you know the theme from Deliverance? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Okay, okay this. You do the play is, by play. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Use, use big words. I got a little test here. What, what are test doing? are we doing? No, don't do this. What? Now, I want you to hand this to Jessica. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, I, I don't want to give too many hints. Why is that still in here? I, I want know. you to figure out what that is, Jessica. Describe, I, I'm put, put it down. And it's got those, it those rubberized bite. rods sticking up. They're about four inches in length and about, yeah. a, I would say, three quarters of an inch in uh, diameter. What do you think those are? Can I'm... you describe the four of them? Go left to right. Well, Actually, go right, to, go right to left. <laughs> Just describe Well, they're limper to stiffer. Oh, yeah, cool? this, this, the left little rod is very wiggly. Yes, very. Squishy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> number two gets a wiggly. little bit mm-hmm. firmer. Yeah. Still mm-hmm. wiggly. Number right. three. Again, a little bit more firm. Does Is that you normally, do you normally pull it back <laughs> and flick it with I, your... Okay. No. Flicker. Then what's the, 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 the last one? Then, so. The last one is just Don't straight up hard. Flick it with your finger. Ow. What do you think that is? I'm starting to think this represents a penis. You're correct. Yeah. Uh, four of them. The revolution. Or res- <laughs> that's if that's if you're going to a doctor and, and you're you have- looking for an erectile dysfunction drug. Yeah. Oh. That's what you use to describe the uh, level of uh, flaccidity, if you will. That you currently have. Yeah. If oh. you're going to use big words. I don't think you need to go if you're at four. No. Mm-hmm. 
Gonna put, put take that out of your mouth and put yeah. it down. Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I just like playing with number one. It's all uh, and Jessica. Yes. Uh, I'll take ten percent if I testify for you. How's that? It's sort of like a dildo buffet. Oh. <laughs> bouquet of lovely fresh flowers says, let's do it, and my loins ache. <laughs> your wedding vows didn't include a vow of chastity, but you're not going to see any action unless you act now. So pick up the phone and order the, I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. Right now. That's the, I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I order you some flowers bouquet. With one phone call, you can cover your ass and get some ass. It's a win-win. <laughs> Call now, because when Cupid shoots his arrow on February 14th, you won't be shooting anything unless you get her some flowers. <laughs> Bob and Tom, you can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nose, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. I was playing in, uh, <laughs> in Miami, and RuPaul was real big at the mm -hmm. time, and, and a lot of the staff was gay at the uh, club. And they were going to go at like 3 in the morning to this huge gay bar to see RuPaul. And I was like, all right, I'll go. And uh, so I go down there. I mean, it's, it's like 2,000 people and mostly gay men. And I'm sitting there by the uh, record machine. Uh, and, uh, and the ugliest guys there hit on me. I mean, ugly pimples, fat guys. I'm like, you well, know what? You've gay got... people drink too. <laughs> You were at two in the morning pool, man. <laughs> man, he looks good. Just the fact that you went, okay, I'll, I'll go. go. <laughs> Lord Coretta's a fine young comedian. Uh, are you a health yeah. guy? You run, you look very slender. And uh, I'm not a, a big health guy, although I'm healthy. I just uh, had a complete physical, and uh, unfortunately, I'm at that age where you get the real intense physical. No, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. you know, I hope I'm not sharing too much, but mm -hmm. the doctor actually stuck a camera in my rectum. Oh. It wasn't part of any procedure. He just suspected that his nurse was stealing from him. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> There's laughter ahead. Yeah, I'm going to grab lunch. We can't go anymore. <laughs> That's cow. a good day's work. Everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. Good coffee, good friends, a good morning. How is the coffee Wasn't well, that sweet? Robust, robust. Uh, but with that, unassuming. <laughs> oh, I love it. This gets so pretentious. Keep going. But uh, 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 what is it? Notes say? of... Uh, um, uh, it's note, almost notes, as if uh, you're seated at a... I feel as though I'm on... Uh, uh, a, a, a lanai uh -huh. in uh, a nicer part of Colombia, wherever. That, uh, yes, yeah. wherever that might Maybe, uh, be. The upper uh, Bogota area. Oh, of course. Looking yeah. out mm -hmm. over your coffee fields. That's right. In Bogota. <laughs> and just forgetting that. Uh, sure, yeah. uh, sure, I'm wearing an adult diaper, but adult I. Adult diaper. Really? Really? I have wipers. Uh, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> and aren't you talking with El El Padron, or who does not like problems? <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> he does no. not like problems. No, as he puts his arm tightly around me, I I do not like problems. I do not like problems. Uh, no problems. Sorry, no I've no lost problem. my place. There's uh, Ace Cosby. I'm Chick, and here's Tom losing his place. Okay, where are we now? What's happening? Uh, uh well, we're back to uh, the Super Bowl and prop bets. Uh, it say here that prop bets go way back, and as near as anyone can figure, the first prop bet has to do with William the Refrigerator Perry in the 1985 Chicago Bears in Super Bowl 20. It uh, combined um, would William Perry score a touchdown in the Super Bowl? Uh, spoiler alert, he did. However, Walter Payton did not. So that seems... Was this Super Bowl shuffle year? Unfair. It was Super Bowl shuffle, ah. shuffle year. And uh, some say the greatest defense ever on the face of the earth. And uh, that, and thus, thusly, Tom, the prop bet was born. Wow. And, and now, here are some Taylor Swift-related prop bets that you can, you can bet on if you have some sort of hookup not in the United States. Okay. Uh, you, they like to keep... Uh, betting um, on the field here in the United States, not anything that can happen 
off the field. Uh, how many times will be sh be uh, shown, shown on camera? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, how many it times? Was the other thing I show one, <laughs> one, and I and I would bet the under. One and done. Yeah, yeah. 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 Six bodyguards at the door. home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm enthusiastic and I'm, I'm positive today, but I, it's a little bumpy over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many times will? She be shown on camera during the halftime show. Ah, uh, yeah. So they can... Uh, People are going to want to... Isn't it funny? Didn't they ask her to do the halftime show months ago? Yeah, no. Yeah, she turned it down. And, uh, yeah, she said no. Do you yeah. think they'll be able to get That's, her up there with um, Usher? Not true. She's not going to come out there with Usher. No, no. I don't think she's going to go on, out there. Hang on. What's not true? They didn't have to ask her to do the halftime show. That would be... Oh, I'm sorry. She's making so much more money than right. But I thought we did the story that they offered. No, that was like that was the myth out there on the internet. Oh, it turned really? out not to be true. I, okay. it, was, it was reported like a news story. How, where did you find out that it was a myth? Get some inside scoop. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it's. Uh, I mean, because we all went. Why the, would she do it? The folks that are, that are picking the uh, halftime shows aren't going to pick Taylor. Just <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Um, <sighs> is there any way? <laughs> One morning, you can just be normal. Nope, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Okay. You know, it just all fell in on me why you have that opinion. Okay, now I'm gonna have to listen to some Usher to get ready for that halftime show. Don't be so dismissive. I don't know anything about the guy. He could walk in here, I wouldn't recognize him. You know what? Oh, he's I a owe handsome you, fella. I owe you an apology. I w went down the, a rabbit hole on the internet yesterday, and there's all these songs that were suing each other. Oh, yeah. And I guess Dua Lipa's song, uh, Levitating, was based on something before that, and uh, there, mi there might have been a lawsuit or something. But I really like that song. You don't do it justice at all. I'm it. levitating. That's <laughs> a great song. Good. That's, th that does not... I'd love to see Dua Lipa do as it as good as what the song really is. I'm levitating. I don't get the flavor of it out of that. Will Taylor and Travis appear together in a commercial during the Super Bowl? Oh. You can bet okay. on that. Really? Will the couple announce that they're pregnant at the oh, Super Bowl? Oh, geez. You can bet on that. <laughs> Will they be shown kissing after the game? Yes. At the yeah. Super Bowl. Absolutely. Is that a lock? It depends that's, if they win. That's a lock. I don't think... Uh, I'm, uh, they'll kiss no matter what. Yeah, they're so? gonna kiss. Of especially, course. Especially if they lose. Yeah, you gotta kiss your man if he's yeah. lost. She's not gonna go down the field if they lose. No. Yeah, she will. But you know what he'll do? He'll go, I'm really sad. Can I have a pity fight? Yeah. You know what I'm pity fight? No, yeah. he won't want that. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, oh. oh. I don't There's think There's no you ruder man in radio. I don't, nope. think, I, don't think, I don't think you did that angrily enough. Hang on a second. Next. There we go. There we go. Uh, what song, you can bet on Usher, what song will he perform first? Who will he perform with? The number of songs on his set list, number of backup dancers featured, the brand of shoes Usher's going to wear. Wow. And will he wear sunglasses? <laughs> and then the classic prop bets, uh, the Gatorade bath, what... Uh, what color the Gatorade juice will be, uh, Super Bowl, uh, what company's TV advertisements will air first, which celebrity will be featured in the greatest number of commercials, and it goes on and on, Tom. So uh, who's that going to be? Patrick Mahomes, do you think? Who's in the most commercials? Commercials? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's Peyton. the hot, hot guy. I, I think Peyton's kind of taking a step back from commercials. Kevin Hart. I, I haven't seen him... Uh, Lately, these are all good ideas for you to okay. uh, you to secure a bet with. I don't really feel like betting on them. I just feel like you're not going to bet on. You're not going to put your money where your mouth is. No, I don't, I'm not. I haven't put my mouth anywhere yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> casually watch the game. Well, enjoy some commercials. You know, there are some bets that involve that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you, would you put your mouth on? It? <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, preliminary lunar analysis. For the upcoming Super Bowl. Okay. This is what I wait for in order before I place my bets. Favors the Kansas City Chiefs. Keep an eye on All it. Right. Yeah. The day of the Super Bowl is a waxing crescent moon. He's growing angrier. <laughs> <laughs> and the Chiefs are 19 and 1 in the last five years under waxing crescent conditions. Well, this is undeniable. This is indisputable. Then. This is absolutely <laughs> undeniable, indisputable evidence. Okay. Uh. The last time they lost during a waxing crescent moon mm -hmm. was way back uh, October 10th, 2021. Everything else since 2019, they 19 and 1. Oh, yeah. This I mean, is this screaming. Is to bet the Kansas City Chiefs, according to the uh, Lunar Tides.
Okay. Everything's coming up, Travis and Taylor. They're going to win the Super Bowl. You think they are? Yes. Yeah, you can, you can bet that. Right. That's an easy bet. That's mm-hmm. the simplest mm-hmm. easy bet. Iowa star, Caitlin Clark, and the Q95 uh, Basketball Player of the Year in college. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I say yes, Bob yeah, and Tom show? Yeah. <laughs> moved into second place. She moved into second place on the NCAA. You know why I did that? Why? Because you're making me nervous because you're so mad at me because I'm talking. And I'm sorry, <laughs> but you can't talk all the time. You, you'll you get tired. No, I'm just listening. Uh, come uh-huh. on. Admit you're really not. I got some work I can do over here, I suppose. Stupid world record. A Nigerian woman has set the Guinness World Record for the longest marathon singing Christmas songs. Is this what you want to hear? Oh, no. I've got it. You know what this illustrates? How stupid you are. (laughs) That's exactly what this illustrates. You want to hear them? You don't want to hear them? No. No. We don't have a choice, guys. Go ahead and play it. Uh, (laughs) And it's not Christmas, and we can't play Christmas music. No, but she she got the record during the holiday season. Don't care. Uh-uh, that's not the rules. Um, and we could wait till next holiday to talk about it. And deny Ms. Iwala Walla. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> Ola Tunji. Uh, her honor here. Did I get it right? No. I- Iwala Uwa. Yeah, why talk Ola about Tan- uh, Ola Tanji. Why not talk about name. a stupid story about the moon and it's favoring the chiefs? No, that, that has a hint of comedy in it. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's talk about a Nigerian woman who's, who set a world record singing Christmas songs. You are out of your mind. Do you have the audio? I do. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Play this it is, so we can get the hell out of this <laughs> thing. Yeah, this is Iwala Ua. Ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang. Here it is. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Oh, yes, I know this is my favorite Christmas yes. carol. <laughs> the Leonard Cohen. Yeah. Is yeah. this a Christmas nobody, carol? No, of course sure. not. No. Nobody, nobody sings or writes a Christmas song like Leonard Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? You got me. Maybe that's a, that must be a Nigerian Christmas song. I don't recognize that one. Now. How long did she sing? Uh, so now let me... Let me 31 hours. Let me Jeez. get this straight. So you were, uh, you were looking through things, and you found this, and you actually said, oh boy, this will be good. What is the category? I don't know. I forgot. The category it's so, is... It's, as you would say, it's so boring. St- stupid world records. It's so boring. Keep reading. Yes, sir. 29-year-old from Lagos said she took on this challenge to promote peace and unity and to inspire confidence in young people. Oh, uh, that'll work. Hiding behind the children. Yeah, this'll work. <laughs> Olatunji said the most challenging period for me. <laughs> was that first one? First yeah. one. Yeah. I didn't know what was happening. Thought I was dying. Yeah, she that. sang... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much blood. <laughs> Am I done? So much out. blood. Could we move forward? Uh, 31 hours is what she sang, Christy. Between the 8th and 12th hours is where she had uh, problems. I had consumed a drink that caused mild food poisoning symptoms, Ooh. forcing me to hold in flatulence to avoid public embarrassment. Uh. Aww. Look at that. I just turned to Tommy was overjoyed. <laughs> so she's, she's, on, she's on stage with the Guinness people there, uh, uh, unable to release... <laughs> the I gas. Was, I was simultaneously experiencing profuse sweating, stomach, head, and throat aches, along with an urgent need to use the restroom, you know, for pooping. Oh. She overcame oh. this hurdle. She says her throat pain became unbearable by the 20th hour. She was able to persevere through the pain and did not let it affect her ability to sing, as you can hear. Mm-hmm. That's almost singing. So oh. well done. Who would have thought a beverage in Nigeria would cause stomach problems? <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, that is surprising. Yeah, yeah. If she couldn't release the gas because she was singing Silent Night. That would be <laughs> oh, that totally would be inappropriate. Very, very yes, uh, Okay, uh, we have more world records on the way? So? Yes, coming up. But first, let me tell you about Simply Safe, the design it yourself, the do it yourself, home security system, and backed by 24-7 professional monitoring for fast emergency response for uh, about uh, less than a dollar a day. If your home is threatened, trained agents spring into action for emergency dispatch and response. Here's why we all love Simply Safe. It's trusted by the experts named best home security system of 2024 by US News World Report. That's right, new year and new awards offering everything you need for home protection, HD cameras inside and out, advanced motion sensors, entry sensors as well as hazard sensors that detect fire flooding and uh, freezing temperatures and so much more. Simply Safe system 
easy to set up yourself without any special tool, tools or know-how required. But if you prefer, yes, you can get one of Simply Safe's technicians to come in your house and install it for you. Plus, with the 60-day risk-free trial, if you don't love your system, return it for a full refund. And for Bob and Tom Show listeners, order now to get 20% off any new Simply Safe system with fast protect monitoring by visiting simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe. Like simply say, and I do have a little bit more of that woman uh, doing the the singing marathon. If you'd like to hear pass. it, oh, all right. Pass, pass, um, pass. Just, uh, here, here it is. Pass. This is her. Uh, yeah, and then the next the next song she sang was, um, as you know, she was uh, holding in the flatulence. Um, uh, she was singing, "I want to pass some gas bar rump a bum." Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got to remark that one. <laughs> it's marked for the day. Mr. Fister. Thank you. Oh. Mr. Fister. Right back. Okay. Here we go. When did Mr. Fister become the ginger between sushi rolls? <laughs> <laughs> Just throw some Mr. Fister on that. We'll be fine. Uh, thank you very much. We're coming right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're... show. She loved many men, even a lady or two. We made love nights and mornings. Then one day she left me without warning. She walked out that door. I need to see her again. If you see Kay, have her call. I miss the way she moaned when we were having a ball. If you see Kay, tell her hi. I miss her cooking and eating her pie. I want her back in my bed. I miss the little kisses with her hair. Oh, the trick with her tongue Enough to make you go mad Caleb Like Venus The feelings of her hands Between us She's the queen of the ball I need to see her again To feel her below <laughs> She loves that Baby gravy <laughs> She has share of semen in the Navy. If you see Kay, I miss her. If you see Kay, I want to kiss her. If you see Kay, I need to meet her again. I miss you, Kay.
Be at Starbucks on your way, if you don't mind. Okay, okay, that's a little step, but I'll get there. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that was kind of a, a detour, but here, two splendors just like you like it. Oh, thank you very much, Carol. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, uh, Carl, could you come back to the studio to sign some photos for us? Oh, okay, I can do that. Sure thing, Tom. <laughs> <sighs> Made it. All right. Give me a pen. <laughs> this has been Flash Traffic with Carl Lewis. Hi, this is Augie Smith, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. We have uh, also a new to the show. His name is uh, Ryan Belleville. And uh, Ryan comes to us all the way from Calgary, Canada. See, we established the fact that you played um, a musical instrument in, in school, but you weren't real popular. Wasn't, uh, I wasn't. You weren't, you weren't I like cool. to think I was popular in oh, the do? mum club. Mm -hmm. uh, not, I was not, yeah. I was not the, club. The, the coolest kid, really. Mm -hmm. I know that's hard to believe. You look like a pretty it cool guy. It is hard guy. to believe. Yeah, I mean. I, I, you, well, you, that's the thing about comics. It's like they're, they're, well, I think a lot of comics are pretty cool because you, you hang out in clubs all the time and you get a little confidence and then you and you you feel like you're doing something a little different. Mm -hmm. right. uh, when you go back to the reunions, people are like, "What do you do?" Well, I'm a um, uh, manager of mm -hmm. the uh, regional blockbuster, mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm -hmm. like, "Ha ha ha!" I tell wiener jokes for a living, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> uh, so, like, that sense of yeah. positivity. That is a. Yeah. Do you have a card that says that? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> I got a tattoo. Uh, how do you spell your jokes? How do you spell sucker? <laughs> Suck on that, huh? <laughs> Hi, this is Andy Kindler, and this is a different register in my voice. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Oh, my goodness, what a mess. Hi, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's uh, February 1st. Ergo, rabbit, 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 everybody. Chick's having a horrible morning. I just <laughs> tried to open my second Diet Pepsi in a can, and the tab that you... Pull, it snapped off the can. Again? Again. Again. Now, yes. Tom, I don't know if you saw the first one he did, it, <laughs> it literally shot across the studio. Wow. It get, almost did ace. <laughs> I need a, uh, a, what, a church key or whatever to take open a, this Take up. a screwdriver, punch that thing out. Well, I was trying to do it with a Sharpie. No, no, no. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, is this okay. dangerous, you think? <laughs> Here, use my scissors. Okay. Oh. Ready? Oh. <laughs> you, would, you would throw scissors I thought he was gonna throw at uh, your uh, oldest and dearest friend, uh, wouldn't you? He's not here. Hey, um, Oscar! <laughs> uh, here we go. Now, Christy's got some. You can punch that out. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. It's going to go well. squirt. Uh, I'm going to wait. Okay. Oscar, find me an opener. Speaking of squirting. Okay. okay. I'm in, I, my, my, attention. my favorite news story. Christy, can you do the uh, the uh, special Valentine's Day? This is. I, I thought this was a joke when I read it. Kotex is releasing <laughs> a special box of chocolates for Valentine's Day with the theme, the menstrual period. Kotex partnered with the food brand Fazy to create the Let's Have Period Sex Chocolates, which include five truffles made with vegan dark chocolate and shataravi, I don't know what that is, an alleged sort of... libido yeah. boosting. Uh, oh, it's not like strawberry or raspberry or whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ayurvedic herb. herb. But you, her I think you're missing the larger point here. This stuff is called Let's Have Period Sex Chocolates. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. have sex on their period, Tom. I, I'm fully aware of that. I'm just saying that. that I don't think you are aware I don't of think that. You're aware. He's not. No, the heart shaped you box. You don't think I own black towels? <laughs> the heart shaped box of chocolates available for $35 from let's have period sex com. Let me ask you this, as you would say. Do you know what the term get your red wings means? <laughs> <laughs> well, contextually, I think I can guess. Okay. Play right. football. Uh, Play football. Play football? That's what you call it? I don't get that. There's a, there's a term that used to be. Play, Play football. I won't complete it. On okay, the you try and open it. Is it something it about the red go. zone? Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. No? Huh. No? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, uh, uh, I just, it's just astonishing that the Kotex people have a. Well, they're not really talking about it much. They've been very discreet. I wouldn't The either. chocolates do not appear on the company's website. Instead, it's only being promoted in the official uh, you bite Kotex video posted on YouTube last week. Okay, it's the, called y letter U. You uh -huh. by Kotex. No, yes. it's E W E. It's a female <laughs> shape. That makes oh, that's very soft Kotex. Yeah, yeah. very the soft. The video includes a woman saying, 
Roses are red. Uh-oh. So is my... Periods are too. Oh, oh. But don't let that stop you from having sex with your boo. Wow. Ooh. All right. Give me that little... I, what? Yeah. It's a little clumsy. But yeah, it's... Oh. But, but Do you want to rewrite that, Pat? Maybe I can put only it to make music? It dirtier. Oh, oh dirtier. More clunky? <laughs> okay. Maybe a salt oh. burn reference? <laughs> Now, so, oh. and I, I'm, so these are Valentine's Day chocolates. Mm -hmm. That are, does it describe the chocolate itself? I mean, yes, it's a truffle made with vegan dark chocolate in the shape of and a shape of a heart. A blob. Is there <laughs> with shatavari no. an alleged libido boosting is, herb? Is there a color component? The word to the... you're looking for is clot. Oh, right, right, right. Is it? <laughs> I mean, is it like strawberry or raspberry or it's dark? <sighs> now, how would you? Uh, if you were, a, if you were, a, let me say, as a lady, I'd teenagers. like you, to, I'd like you to speak on behalf of all women out there. Yes. If you were handed for Valentine's Day a box of, um, let's have sex during your period chocolate, would you find it mildly amusing yes. or offensive? Yes, that would be very funny. But I think you could also get these for your guy. Yeah. 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 I think this is the. Hey, look! Don't be embarrassed. Let's do this. It's okay. If, if, I think it's probably more for a man than for a woman. Christy, is it true that sex can al help alleviate menstrual discomfort? Yes. Oh, yeah, I'd heard that. Ease cramps? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, um, okay. It's out there. I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> Tom is so uh, grossed out by yeah, this. I know. I'm they shouldn't call it, let's have sex on my period yeah. time. They should just call it, you don't have to wear a condom this time. <sighs> right? Well, well, that's not necessarily true. true. That's not necessarily that's true. Risky. That is yeah. not necessarily yeah. true. Well, she's not going to get pregnant. Well, well that's, that's not that's necessarily a, true. You know, your semen. A woman can ovulate and have her menstrual cycle at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's a freak. Or, or <laughs> <laughs> only a monster. Well, <laughs> I believe the semen can hide up in there. Yeah, and then yeah. The, as the eggs for like fall half an down. hour. Uh, Trust okay. me, I know this. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> is, is it, you you would find this uh, amusing? Yes. Okay. It seems. Crass, doesn't it, Tom? Yeah, I, mean, I, just, yes. I, I just can't imagine. You know, they say chivalry's dead, but here's my pack of let's have period sex chocolates for you. You know, in a way, though, we've we've uh, evolved to such where that is rather chivalrous to go, you know what, baby, you're beautiful every day, mm -hmm. no matter what's going on with you and your body. I, I want you. Yeah. you know what I mean? Whatever psychotic reactions occurring in your head that you're spewing <laughs> forth Jeez, every Tom. word that comes out of your face. Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Tom, I, I get it. Uh, uh, this product may not be for you. I love everything <laughs> happening over here. Was psychotic what? Uh, coming out of your face? Uh, man, oh man. That's I just, it's, it's crazy. It's I, a, I just can't imagine. I mean... I we, really we, think it's more for the girl to give the guy than the guy to give the girl, but... What was once considered impolite in uh, society to talk okay. about. And, yeah, uh, normalizing a woman's yes. cycle. It's yes. not a big deal. Yes, yeah, a return to normalcy. Uh, you mean normality, you <laughs> illiterate <laughs> moron. The I point is, um, I, it just seems to me to be, as you said, crass. Uh, Some will consider it. Let me ask you this, Christy. Is my doll still a thing? Mm-hmm. Does it, uh, my doll cramps. is the famous, yeah, for yeah, my doll yeah. all that yeah, it, stuff. But my doll's just for ladies, though, right? Well, it's, it's basically just yeah, ibuprofen nothing, yeah, with a different name on it. Yeah, and there's something yeah. in there a little extra, but I'm not sure. What I think the it's. I want to say caffeine, but that's Maybe not a coagulant. Right. <laughs> I just thought there. Ah. Well, no, it look, comes with look, a, look, uh, look yeah. for it in the plug-shaped bottle. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought their little poem was cork. stupid. Though. Didn't you think the poem was stupid? What was that poem? Oh, the one that yeah. Christy read. Do you want me to read it? I, I can read I it. I could do better than that. Oh, okay. well, Pat, why don't you give oh, it? Oh, well, the original poem was written by the Kotex people. Let's do it. Love on your period, some wouldn't think of it. Hey, I'll wait in the Red Sea. I just won't drink from it. Oh. <laughs> you know that? Did you like that? Is that better? I, I liked it. I don't know that it was better <laughs> for selling chocolate. Was that on the <laughs> door of a toilet somewhere? <laughs> it should be. Now. <laughs> Came to crap and only farted. Oh, yeah, right God, that is uh, sad. This whole thing is just crazy to me. <laughs> uh, we know, we get that, but it's... Once again, this is from the Kotex people. Yes. Let's uh, have period Let's sex. have period sex is the name of Chocolates. the product. You're not a man unless you've had period sex. Of course I'm going to so. come out and say it. Yes. True men will do it. Every, Absolutely. I thought it was No, I'm not normal. disputing any of that. I'm just I saying it, is, it's, it just seems like an odd uh, gift for Valentine's Day. It is. Day. 
It is odd. I mean, well, who's next? Uh, 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 the Preparation H people? Well, I, well that's uh, totally different. No, it's, I think it's a similar <laughs> private thing. and I don't think you can get away with just this is your own Well, gift. no, this wouldn't be. No. You need to this grab is... something from Steven Singer, I would think. Yeah. Certainly. You don't just want whatever. Period sex <laughs> chocolates. Yeah. No, no. Get her a period bracelet, or yeah, yeah. Uh, or the new <laughs> exactly Hershey's right. X-Lax syrup for your, <laughs> or the solid gold tampon. I, I just or, uh, we know everything about the body freaks you out. It's okay. No, I, I think this is just weird uh, to bring to bring Kotex into the Valentine's Day gift realm. It's interesting your, and fun. In your home, do you have a water closet in the bathroom? And you know what I mean by water closet. It's a toilet. Do you of course, have, I have a toilet in the bathroom. You have a toilet, and you have a, 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 a. Is it in a little compartment in the bathroom with a closing door? Yes. Are you ever in there, and a significant other is at the sink doing something? Uh, very rarely, I would go. So to it has different... happened, though. No, but I'd go to a different part of the house. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yes. If there was a major transaction, I'm a gentleman. I'll go to the parlor bathroom in the hallway. Well, I don't. Oh, so that... all your guests can smell you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> And the UPS driver gets a whiff. With the magazine, you come out, do not go in there. Is that right? You know who this is also perfect for that we, is so obvious that I don't know how we, women who are on, are having their period on On Valentine's Valentine's Day. Day. I almost, I thought that too. Yeah, I mean, this is. I thought, boy, if your cycle cycles up with this, this is perfect. Right. Well, how do you know that's going to come off? Usually. Women women have a pretty good idea. It must happen with. I mean, yeah, but you have to buy this thing online. Do they, do they, is it same day shipping? <laughs> I see what you're saying. Hey, well, uh, I, I just, it must happen with honeymoon. I just right? got the word. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just got the word. <laughs> judging by her response to what I just said, I think it's common. You better send me the. the a lot context. of people have their calendars on their phone. Yeah, it's a big thing. And they will an share app. it with their guys. There's yeah. an app, yeah. Absolutely. And you and you get a copy of it being the. Oh, yeah. really? So I, I can yeah. look at my phone today. Oh, look, I'm Absolutely. having lunch with my attorney. And then, oh, look what's happening on oh. for Friday. I, I guess yeah. I better get that hotel. Hotel room. Uh-huh. <laughs> I won't go home. See, I better, like that. Yeah. I better get the bleach and some towels. Um, <laughs> bleach. <laughs> Wait, well, what's oh, going on? Oh, uh, she had her period, so you're going to kill her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Christy, I, I just want you to know yes, that dear. Uh, if ever, again, we're talking about menstruation or mm-hmm. uh, that time, that uh, I, if you ever have any questions about it, I will gladly inform <laughs> you about what it means for a woman to have her period. Oh, this is this mansplaining? <laughs> No, no, I consider no, I it don't uh, have a, period a anymore. gift from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm way past that, thank um, God. Well, your cl- daughters have questions. The, the, okay, the, I'll the, let them the know. The classic uh, Go to Uncle response Josh. to this <laughs> comes, uh, to, comes to us from uh, Mr. Todd Yon. Oh. oh. And uh, a tribute to all these problems. Yeah. I was watching TV with my buddy Stevie when we saw the strangest thing. It was so compelling, a woman was selling maxi pads that had wings. I turned to Channel 3 and what did I see? A woman who looked real rich. She was living on the hill and pitching badges hill for the special feminine niche. <laughs> I tried once more and I turned to Channel 4 and I was shocked, I must confess. A gal who was chunky said when she's smelling funky, she just squirts it with FDS. <laughs> well, it's on every station, it's plugging up the nation with feminine hygiene ads. Douches and ointments and OBG appointments, and don't forget your maxi pads, cause they have wings <laughs> to fly. <laughs> Let's give it a try, it's feminine hygiene. Well, my mama and a daughter walking by the water, somebody don't feel fresh. <laughs> Honest at seven, put her back in heaven, cause the yeast really makes a mess. <laughs> Middle-aged debutant looking for a lubricant, they still can hear her voice. Her mama done told her when a woman gets older, the muffin downstairs don't stay moist. <laughs> Well, it's on every station and oversaturation of feminine hygiene days. Creams and lotions. 
potions and all her emotions and all the water she retains. It's so insane, this game. There's too many names for feminine hygiene. Why do we have to view all that stuff girls go through? It's really got my stomach reeling. <laughs> Let's give those ads we see a hysterectomy, <laughs> or at least make them more appealing. Cause they're on every station, an oversaturation of feminine hygiene ads. Douches and ointments and OBG appointments, creams and lotions and all her emotions. Summer's even mass and and if you itch, you try to sell. Totex, Tampex, Gynacort and Yeast X, Norforms, Pamprin, Feminique and Reflex, Motrin, Midol for when you're suicidal. Monistat, Femstat, a plug for this, a pad for that. Uh, the list goes on and on. It's so insane to me. It's on my TV. It's feminine hygiene. <laughs> it's on my TV. It's feminine hygiene. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Todd Young, one of the greatest live performers I've ever seen. And the classic, uh, Feminine Hygiene. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Todd. In honor, in honor of the product, what, what is it once again, Christy? Uh, the, uh, the Just in time for Valentine's Day. It's called Let's Have Period Sex Chocolates by Kotex. Let's get That's some of those in here. Amazing. Here's a uh, couple. I'll try. Uh, here's, uh, here's something for you, Tom. Time of the month. On the rag, of course. And we're yeah. familiar with that. Painters uh, are in town. There are communists in the funhouse. Ever heard of that? Oh, that's <laughs> silly and funny. Yeah. Uh, the English have landed. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, monthly visitor. Clueless uh, taught us uh, riding the crimson wave. A uh, crimson wave is on yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, call me Moses. I'm about to part the Red Sea. <laughs> and yes. Flo, right? Uh, oh, sure. And Flo is in town. Yeah. Red badge of courage. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Really? A little yeah. Stephen Crane. That's right. Uh, mad cow disease. Oh, that's, I can't uh, imagine. Fortunate. And uh, just finally, to just give you some starters, uh, checking into the Red Roof Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Again, this is a real product you can buy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, good luck, fellas. I'm flabbergasted. Someone I'm going to buy you that for Valentine's let me, Day. Let me, know how, let me know how it goes. Uh, now, uh, what's coming up? We have more sports? Yes, we do. All kinds of uh, sports, including uh, the Baltimore Orioles are for sale. And you might, uh, you better hurry. Somebody else is going to buy them out from under you. You probably need $2 billion, but still. Mm. Okay. Oh. They are for sale. Okay. Okay. I'm Good in for 500 enough. All right. We do have, uh, for, for the second day in a row, syphilis in the news. <laughs> Uh, uh, hot dogs in a different a different story, of course. Uh, and uh, they named those snow plows, in case you were, entered the contest. Oh, in Minnesota? What, yeah, what they named the snow plows. And uh, for you, Josh, uh, survey, uh, how many people think aliens walk among us? Oh. oh the answer a is people. astonishing. <laughs> Uh, See, this is another thing that freaks Tom out. <laughs> Aliens and periods. Okay. <laughs> well, no, he, he's freaked out by the... There are way too many people that believe in aliens. That's what's freaking yeah. him out. And also, when alien, aliens have their period, comes out green. Oh, Ooh, man. Yeah. That's weird. Um, this is <laughs> the Bob hot. and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Two comedians. We are joined by uh, Jimmy Pardo. Uh, also, another guy. It's comedian Chad Daniels. Chad, I, I understand that you have a, an injury, that nothing humorous about it, but uh, you look like you're in a little bit of pain. I broke my tailbone. Yeah. Did you break it like Damn. recently or a uh, week and a half ago? Okay. Tailgating, I was, tailgating, you, you, too, you following too closely? You, what you can't uh, put a cast on that, can you? No, you mm -hmm. can't. No. Mm -hmm. uh, I was drywalling. I kept bending over to measure and cut and everything, and I guess my leg muscles were too tight or something like that, and it kept rocking it back and forth till finally it snapped.
What? From you you're didn't even hit on me. I didn't hit it on anything. From right. bending over and yeah, that's the kind of shape I'm in. There's a t- <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, wow. Uh, never heard of such a thing. Yeah, the from doctor said it me. happens a lot to pregnant women, which was really awesome to hear from your doctor. Mm-hmm. Are, are your breasts tender? <laughs> no, they're not. The first, uh, first man for that to happen to. Mm-hmm. Was it? I, I, wow. It must. It sounds like it was incredibly painful. It sounds like it yeah, is painful. Yeah, my wife actually couldn't sit down for a while. Sympathy pains. <laughs> what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, nailed it. Hey, ding, oh, ding, 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 ding
They put the F in professional. That's the voice of Chris Porter. I knew he'd weigh in with something important. Chris Porter, comedian. Now, do you get back to Kansas City often, or are you? Uh, I get back to Kansas City. I was back last April for a wedding. Okay. For a bunch of weird experiences, I've become friends with Justin Verlander. He's a pitcher for the sure. oh, yeah, sure. Houston Astros. Yeah. At the time, he was pitching for the Tigers. Aaron Town playing the Royals, but they had a night off, so he and I went out and had a couple of drinks. And, and he said, no, watch this. He calls the waiter over. He goes, who's that chick? And he goes, well, I don't know who the chick is, but everyone at that table is Mumford and Sons. He sends them a bottle. They come over. Turns out it's not Mumford and Sons. <laughs> it's just Ann's Sons. <laughs> oh. Mumford wasn't there. I don't know where he was. I assume oh. he was back at the hotel writing a song that at some point goes, ah. <laughs> I actually uh, I have a, a second actual fantasy associated with the earthquake go all right well check out uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy i am making love to this woman yeah and then all of a sudden she feels the earth move beneath her mm. ah yes and then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris <laughs> <laughs> safety first everybody safety first hi this is comedian rob haney those are on the way <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy's here. There's Josh. Hello. Uh, Pat Godwin, Ace Cosby, and the Ace Cosby Joke of the hey. Day coming up. I'm Chick McGee. And, uh, may, need that right, may need that right now. We're going to look at uh, animals picking the Super Bowl over the oh, years. Really? And, uh, <laughs> no, we're not. That's too boring. Here's Tom. Um, let's see now. Uh, <laughs> Is that right? We need a palate cleanser. That's what I say after that. all that uh, period talk. Mm. Um, yeah, the the willies, huh? <laughs> How long did you just go wash your hands? Uh, <laughs> did you hear me in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been one of those days. Right, palate cleanser, please. Cruise that yeah. sexy man with a deep voice. Mm. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. On a quasi-related note, yes. Captain Kirk himself, William Shatner, mm -hmm. wanted to put out a, a brand of female underwear. Is that right? Sadly, it didn't take off. Nobody wanted Shatner underwear. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ace Cosby's joke of the okay. day. Okay, all right. You, you've got to laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to hear about the animals picking the Super Bowl, but those. you oh, let that so crap go. Are uh, we going to let Godwin do a song uh, that is related to okay, that? Okay, yeah. I'm just going to give you the animals, and uh, I'm not going to tell you how, but uh, hedgehog, come on, a lion. Uh, a bear. I'd love to watch a hedgehog. Of course. Orangutans. Uh, tigers. Manatees pick the Super Bowl. That's funny. Hang on. Panda. Go, Christy. <laughs> Ace Cosby's joke of the day is brought to you by the sleep number, folks. Yes, that's right. You can save 50% during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at a sleep number store or sleepnumber.com. And you know, we just got a new sleep you, number Ace. bed. Christy Lee. Christy King Lee. King size. Uh, because she's got a king living in her house now. That's right. Andy, that's her husband. My king. Oh. You know they have do, do you refer to him as your highness? <laughs> yeah. Could yeah. you do that from now on? Okay. <laughs> sure. What do you watch him? Your highness. Your highness. I can uh, make but arrangements. I could have a should thing. Should I curtsy? I could get a thing for you. would carry it around and you'd press a button that would go ba 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 ba. <laughs> hey, your highness, you left the milk out on the counter. Yeah. yeah just the most sarcastic. Anybody. Hey. <laughs> pick up your socks again, your highness. Yeah. 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 Hey, your highness. So maybe you go, take the uh, take the garbage out. Really, you want to be congratulated? Oh, your highness is He's finished before helpful. me again. Congratulations, King. <laughs> you're uh, real. You're, you're, now you're Mr. Soft. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. You're a real soft. Uh, yeah. would, see, don't bring his name up. This just happens every time. Poor Andy. Uh, did I bring his name up? Uh, probably. No. Nope. Uh, you rarely bring him up. Ace did. Ace did. Um, I'm sorry. Is that sports? You know, they had, uh, the, and I think they still do this. They have a cow who picks the Super Bowl winner, and they have the helmets on, on a piece of wood painted on one and the cow comes up and whichever one he shats on that's his pick for this really? right you got your tenses mixed up but i'll accept that whatever <sighs> uh, okay i could super bowl he could have i could have i, I could properly. definitely fix it if you'd like <laughs> <laughs> i sure i sure could i don't give a damn okay what else is happening uh cal ripkin jr and grant hill you guys have heard of those uh sure gentlemen. they're part of the investor group that has agreed to buy the baltimore orioles oh that's cool it's going to be in and they will be Ends. renamed the Ripkins. Oh, is that right? That's not true. Uh, also, uh, former mayor, uh, New York mayor Michael Bloomberg, and former Baltimore mayor Kurt Schmoke. Oh, Schmokey Schmoke. Schmoke and a pancake. <laughs> the 
<laughs> Blintz in a blanket. <laughs> uh, the group is headed by Baltimore native David Rubenstein, who's co-founder of the Carlisle Group. Carlisle Argyles, they're sock uh, barons. Oh, that's ah. right, yeah. If yeah. you're wearing Argyle socks, chances are they uh, were excuse made by me, are those Carlisles. Carlisles. That, I remember that old ad. Additional investors revealed <laughs> in the news release announcing the agreement between Rubenstein and the Angelos family, the uh, folks that own it now. The PGA Tour is getting a $3 billion investment uh, injection from Strategic Sports Group. You want to guess who that is? Strategic that, Sports Group. Are they group. located in the Middle East? Somewhere? Yep. Oh. Uh, the deal gives players access to more than $1.5 billion as equity owners in the new PGA Tour enterprises. Yes, they are now team owners, if you will, and have a stake in how successful across the board the entire PGA entity is instead of just winning tournaments. But isn't this all owned by yes. Saudi Arabia? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Yes. And, of course, you can get up on your collective high horse. But what would you do if someone said... Here's $50 million, Tom. Get rid of Chick. Would you fire me for $50 million? <laughs> Take your time. Lower. <laughs> I'm negotiating. Lower. <laughs> <laughs> a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> uh, a, little, a little higher. How about a hot meal? <laughs> you better pack your stuff. Okay, Just where are we? Just my legal fees. Uh, yeah, these are world records, let's say that. Two footballs <laughs> that Tom Brady threw in one of his Super Bowl victories and record-setting career are heading to auction. The two footballs used to throw touchdown passes during the Patriots-Seahawks matchup in Super Bowl 49. And one of the balls... You know um, if you uh, pay extra, they'll fill them up to the proper level of there. <laughs> Still. Oh, Won't damn. give it up. Um... <laughs> This is a sentence that someone, I'm just guessing, I'm not sure who wrote this, mm -hmm. but whoever did write it doesn't know anything about football, okay? One of the balls was hurled by TB12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. TB12 sounds like some kind of ball powder. Uh, did you and get that you what, from like, a news service? Really uh. <laughs> TB12. <laughs> no, it's, it was. It was the, hurled. Yeah. I did not write that. <laughs> I don't believe you. Look it was caught by Rob them. Gronkowski for a score in the first half of the big game. Ah. <laughs> oh, it wow. continues. The Gronk ball actually tied Brady with Montana for the most uh, touchdown passes in Super Bowl history with 11. Didn't um, uh, Keanu Reeves play Johnny Utah or something? Yes, in, in Point uh, Break. Point uh, Break Was it Point Break? Yeah. Like Instead of Joe Montana, he was Johnny Utah. That's a great movie. <gasps> Point Break? That's a great. Movie. I haven't seen it. Really? I the original? Seen it either. Oh, yeah, the original's it. great. It's, it's fun. Swayze and uh, it's, Kurt Russell. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's a cool movie. Uh, it's, yeah, they Swayze. surf out of a helicopter, don't they? It's or got, a plane or something? It's got great parachute scenes. And yeah. Stuff. Really good. Uh, the uh, the got to have rock and roll auction house uh, told TMZ that they are expected uh, the footballs. Doesn't can uh, I, a million dollars each? Doesn't oh. That, doesn't the name seem, I don't know. What was it again? He, gotta have rock and roll auction. Yeah, it's, it's it sounds it's, like it's not legit. It sounds like a Is bar in Tokyo. Yeah. Where they're they're yeah. trying to use like American phrases. Yeah, and stuff yeah it doesn't it walk be, and roll. Usually, those things have really serious names. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like Christie's auction house. Mm. Yeah, I just hey. gotta have rock and roll, hot dog, fun time, Coca Cola house. Yeah, yeah. right. That's, what it sounds, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's gotta sounds. have rock and roll, puppy dog on the porch, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mowed uh, fresh grass. Well, so we'll see what they what they go for. We will see. Luck. And uh, that sports. Kids, I don't know what's wrong <laughs> with these kids today. Kids. Who can understand anything they say? Who can understand anything they say? Ah, uh, yes, the great Paul Lind. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Christy Lee is at the news desk. And uh, what do you got over there? Um, analysis of ancient DNA offers some insights into the origins of syphilis. Oh, boy. According to CNN, it has long been believed that the sexually transmitted infection emerged in the Americas and migrated to Europe after the expeditions led by... Christopher Columbus. Thank you, Chase. That's not true. Now, researchers used paleopathology techniques 
on 2,000-year-old bones unearthed in Brazil. I bet that company doesn't get a lot of phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Paleopathology, hello, how can I help you? Found the earliest known genome evidence, geon geometric, whatever. Genomic, I think. Genomic, genomic evidence. Genomic or genomic, probably. What do you think, uh, Josh? Well, it's a genome. So it's, it'd be uh, genomic? Genome. It's actually uh, it's French. Uh, everything's uh, genomic? Uh, That's right. The, the actually, evidence. Actually, it's Hanama. Ah, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Was it, was it wasn't genomic your Sherpa guide? Uh, he was, yeah, yeah. Oh, I miss him. I hardly know him. No, that was Niblick. <laughs> <laughs> Yenomik, Niblick, Sherpa. Last <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Remember in my favorite year, he goes, who the hell is Niblick? <laughs> Who's Niblick? He's my Sherpa guy. He's my Sherpa. Yeah. How about if we say it like this? The evidence in the genome that's found that the bacterium that causes syphilis and two other related diseases were actually in this particular Bone. So wow. Not, yes. so, wait a minute, so no more blaming Whitey. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess this if you want to look at so it that way. Mean, after all these years, we can get rid of the myth of syphilis. Their analysis <laughs> <laughs> suggests the bacteria first now, evolved. And did you ever have to read that? Far in back is twelve thousand yes, years. Yes, ago. Now, did everyone in your class call it the myth of syphilis? <laughs> oh, there were jokes. <laughs> or am I the only one? <laughs> no, everybody did. Albert, Tom, would, Albert Camus, the, the myth of syphilis. Would you vote for any presidential candidate who went up there and said, hasn't Whitey been through enough? <laughs> Drag him through the mud again? Well, this is, I mean, this is serious business. All these years that... Right. So all Columbus that was just spread it around more. I think it's probably from um, uh, the bats in China. That's my theory. Because, <laughs> you know, my extensive background in genomic or whatever the hell it is, I have wow. no idea what genomic I'm talking about. Genomic evidence. But that's a big story. It's yes. been a busy week for the syphilis, syphilis. PR person. Yeah, yeah. yeah it has. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is I, that the number one uh, STD, syphilis? Or it sounds like it's, good well, it's up the most. It's yeah, the most. Syphilis is the yeah, we had a story. Yeah. Syphilis is the big one. I think number one. Yeah, they they, they traced its origins to uh, a Panama City beach in 1987. <laughs> <laughs> and a, girl, a girl named Marcy. Yeah, apparently quite the whore. Yeah. Uh, when we come back, she got we, around. We have only fans in the news. Did you know this is a, this is a great story? <laughs> There's something called the Minnesota's Legal Marijuana Now Party. Oh, and I mean it's not a, it's not a function. It's it's a political party. That's yeah. the name of the party. Yeah, they've got a presidential candidate, and uh, <laughs> you know, don't throw your vote away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out about that when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Larry, the cable guy. Larry, good morning. It's good to see you. But I, I gotta tell you, I, was, I had a horrible nightmare. Last night? Last night. Really? Before I come in here, I dreamt I drank the world's largest margarita. Uh -huh. And uh, woke up this morning, they were salt on the toilet lid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't eat the worm in there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you, I was madder than a skinhead watching the Jeffersons. I tell you what. I tell you what. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. So we're getting back.
back to your hobbies, James. You're yes. a bowler. Thank yes. You. you got that going for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Golf, uh, skydiving, scuba diving, went skydiving. skiing. You I went skydiving? Went skydiving. How'd that go? Yes, I did. Well, was it a tandem it, jump or did it you? It was a tandem jump. Yeah, scared mm -hmm. me. I'm big. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I, I don't scared wanna... you. Who were you with? I was going to say. The other dude. I was strapped to the guy. What do you, what do you, what do you weigh in at? Do you mind if I ask? Uh, then I was about 280, I guess. I'm mm -hmm. probably 295 now. Oh, my. Yeah. Now, is the person, when you do the tandem, I'm, is the person with the shoot? on somebody else. Is the person with the shoot in back of you? He's behind you. You don't have to do anything. You're basically like luggage. You're looking at the, you're just watching the ground come at you while the guy behind you has, to has the, the shoot and does all the work. And you've never been so glad to have a man strapped to your behind. Mm -hmm. Ever. You will never. And, uh -huh. and, you know, they call it a sport, too. Well, sure. The it's whole very time difficult. They're, they're like, did you like the sports kind of? And I was like, falling is not a sport. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was, my grandmother land. would win a medal. <laughs> <laughs> the Silver Hip Award goes to. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you wanted, actually, if you want to make a sport, you should just throw the parachute out of the plane and then make the guy jump and put it on Ooh. before he hits the ground. Oh, I like that. Now, for competition, sport. competition, yeah. throw one parachute out, three or four guys jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. On, he won. So did you glide in, James? We, we, gl we glided in. And, and, and was, on the, on the did tape. You, did, you, did you fall or did you land stand? At the away? very last minute, he said, stand up, and I was already going down, and there wasn't no. I Mm -hmm. wouldn't have. But my ears did not pop. My, you know, really? the thing with the ears. Yeah, so oh. when I hit the ground, immediately I was like, uh, uh, he, he was like, how do you like it? And I was like, they were good. I enjoyed it very much. Because <laughs> I could not I hear myself. Hear. Couldn't hear yeah. well, that's, that's because, stayed. see, if, if it were me, I, I would be tightening every orifice in my body yes. to prevent <laughs> leakage, uh, including my ears. Plus, there's a dude behind you. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And that part stayed. That My ears did not pop until maybe the next day. And I had to sing. That night, I was doing a play called uh, Smoke on the Mountain. You're a you, singer? I didn't know. Yeah, that. where you, you sing gospel music. It's a gospel music play. You so know, that smoke night, was, on the mountain, <laughs> fire in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's a cool. great play. Yeah. So I'm trying to sing. I'm like, the made thing great that we <laughs> well, That's uh, <laughs> unfortunate. I want to apologize to <laughs> anyone who knows that might have Well, a, I don't know if you're deaf, issue. you automatically talk that way, even though you can speak. That's what it sounds clearly, like when yeah. you talk. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's nerve-wracking. And the more scared, you've already done it, the more scared of it you are, the better you get out, the more you get out of it. You know, it is really like that facing your fear and all that stuff. And when yeah. you're standing in the doorway of that plane, it's yeah, it's every cell in your body screams, you better hold on to something. <laughs> I mean, it's overwhelming. Two stacked roommates, <laughs> followed by the fast-paced action of pro basketball with a moral twist. Meet Carl Goodman, Amish power forward. <laughs> we have worked together, my friends. We shared the ball with he who was open and were blessed when two points were bestowed upon us. Now we must pray. Oh, merciful God above us. It's Carl Goodman, Amish power forward, right after Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates, Thursday on ABC. Ye be thar. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. Eyebrow dandruff. That's yeah. disgusting. Is that, <laughs> is that a thing? I'm not proud of it. There was, why would you, why would you bring that up on the air? That's I didn't. It was <laughs> Christy did. It was said in oh, confidence off sorry. the air. Yeah. Don't ever say eyebrow dandruff in front of a potential lover. Oh. oh. oh okay. Hey, look, ladies. If I'm on top, you might get sprinkled on. <laughs> well, let it snow. If you're on top, well. <laughs> I'll just let everybody else finish that. Oh, I see. Oh. If you're on top, you got about eight, eight seconds. Seconds to live. Is that it? I wouldn't say eight. If you're on top, Godspeed to your ribs, ladies. Is that what we're getting at? Comedian Bruce Clark is our guest. Yeah. Come on, that Pictionary. You ever play that game? Pictionary? Sure. Yeah. That's we almost game. got in a fist fight over that, oh, didn't yeah. we, Chick? Yep. We hey, sure did. And then you play with your friends, they're always drunk, too. You know, all your buddies are always alone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Play in there. I get this uh, phrase. I draw it. You know, they're like, hey, how about a guy frying his own penis? How about that? That's in Pictionary. Idiot. Huh? <laughs> it's Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Freddy here, you moron. <laughs> this is Jimmy Pardo. You. Here.com. 
Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're going to have a, an incredibly insightful listener email in just a moment. There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. And Malibu Pink now available in Steven Singer Jewelers 24 karat gold roses, the number one gift for Valentine's Day, exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much. And here's the letter. Uh, okay. okay, what's it about? Are you ready? I guess so. Dear folks. Hi. 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 <laughs> did anyone else notice that at the same time Christy and her husband started living together, the doomsday clock moved closer to midnight? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Coincidence? That's from Mike. Mm. Thank you, Mike, very much. I appreciate it. Now, the doomsday clock is in, uh, is, isn't it somewhere in Europe? It's fake, uh, whatever it is. It was Sweden. a big cardboard picture of it's a, it's nothing. A, yeah, it's a photo op. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, it's it's uh, anticipating the end of the world, right? Yeah, aren't we 90 seconds Pretty from right, doomsday yeah. or something? Mm-hmm. How okay. close we might be to the end of the world. Sweet release. There it is. It is 90 yeah, seconds to midnight. That. That's ridiculous. But it has been as far away as, like, uh, you know, 15 minutes. Has it really? Mid- yeah. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. yeah. Um, Absolutely. And this is, uh, do they, every year, the new year, they they bring it back out? And- I think they, yeah, every, they have a big meeting and, they, you know, they can they have Look at the tales, world and yeah. see what's going on. You know, and- you check up how you've been. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. fine. How you been? Yeah, I thought I've it was been- tasteless that they had Ryan Seacrest holding the event. Yeah, I know. It seems, <laughs> but boy, they get him for everything, don't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. Have Nails Seacrest and uh, what's that guy that you like? Uh, John Mayer's best friend. What's his name? Andy. Oh, yeah, Andy. Andy Cohen. Cohen. He'll come out and do oh, really? Doomsday. That's yeah. nice. Uh, good to know. Yeah. Uh, uh, Christy Lee is at the news desk. What else is going on? Are you done over there? Yes, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. A woman says she's been banned from dropping her children at the Christian school they go to in Florida. I don't have a problem with this. Because of the OnlyFans ad on her car. <laughs> Michelle Klein told WFTV. Uh, f- Flowers and television. <laughs> oh, how oh, nice. FTV. That she put a reference to her OnlyFans account on her car to draw and dry and more attention to her business. Sure, why yeah, not? Yeah, you got to make money, yeah. right? Klein says that since that time, it has sparked controversy at her children's school, Liberty Christian Preparatory School in Tavares. Hilarious that it's called Liberty and they yeah. want this woman to stop doing right. something. And right. is now forced to drop her kids off across the street. Klein, who goes by the name Piper Fawn online, <laughs> defended <laughs> herself, <laughs> saying OnlyFans is another legitimate business. Throw it up there. However, she says she would like the school to provide her children with assistance to get across the busy streets. Yeah, safely. no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, that's not- One parent complained that Klein's ad is far from discreet, taking up the entire back windshield. Oh. <laughs> um, what is taking place on her OnlyFans page. Well, we're going to find out. On her knees knees praying. Uh, She's uh, a sexy redhead. Oh, I I got a blonde. Oh, I have nothing but red over here. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And uh, there's no... Well, maybe she changes with the seasons. I cannot see her face yet. Hang on. Oh, I bet that maybe that costs extra. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. So interesting. Hyper fun. I thought it might have been, and Tom, maybe you're familiar with this, uh... They have an incredible, uh, incredibly stringent rules and guidelines and protocol for dropping your kids off at school. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you have to go this they way do. and that way. Oh, and don't, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. And you do not deviate. No. Or you, no. will be, you will be shot on sight. There yeah. are cones up, all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah, I thought that's oh, what Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're strict. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, who complained? Certainly not any of the fathers. Oh, and, and, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Certainly not. Okay, on this, one of the mothers said... Her, her ad is far from discreet, taking up the entire back windshield. Okay, I'm looking at a, what what would that be? Look, oh, that's a different car than the one that I have. Oh, here we that's go. That's interesting. Oh, okay, and that's, that's yeah. a, that yeah. is a different Piper Fawn than who I'm looking that's at. Her, yeah. and this is her, uh, this is her ex account. What are the odds that there are two Piper Fawns? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Nice. What do you? What's a, a herd of Piper Fawn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, judging by that photograph, a rack of uh, Piper Fawns. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, well, thank you very much. Um, what else is happening at the Bob and Tom News Desk? Um, a Missouri lawmaker defending a drafted rule that would allow senators... This is great. Senator. To challenge each other to an old-fashioned duel. Yes, finally. <laughs> Politics I can get behind. Oh, I, me too. I would watch this. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, I'd make a day of yes. it. Yes. Tonight's KTVI. debate. Yeah. Ms. Klobuchar has chosen <laughs> pistols. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> KTVI reports a proposal to allow duels to settle conflicts made the rounds in the state Senate earlier this week, <laughs> though it was not officially filed as a House resolution. Hilarious. Beautiful. It Beautiful. states that senators would agree to engage in a duel if, quote, a senator's honor is impugned, impugned, by another senator to the point that it is beyond repair and in order for the offended senator to gain satisfaction. That is demand funny. satisfaction, now, I sir. Know, everything I know about dueling I know from either Hamilton or from cartoons. Uh-huh. Or maybe from the movie Barry Lyndon, highly underrated. Oh, yeah. Ten, space, ten I, paces, I, I turn you, and shoot. But in the cartoons, you always have to take a glove, right? Oh, and slap them in the face. The that the was face. the old oh. custom, yeah. yeah. Smack. Oh, I demand satisfaction. An offended senator <laughs> shall send a written challenge to the offending senator, and those involved would agree to a choice of weapons. Yeah. This is it great. Was, yeah. It was also called, it's also called for duels to take place at the hour of high noon. Is that because the light's the best? Probably good lighting. I thought they did them at dawn. It says high noon here. I've heard both, but uh, maybe it's high noon because... Of Gary Cooper <laughs> was in high noon. People say I got a bad break. The uh, the du the dueling scene in the movie Barry Lyndon is amazing. It is it's very it's disturbing. Actually chilling. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's really good. Uh, but and then of course Hamilton is yeah. Um, yeah. there's a big duel in that. Yeah, a couple of duels. That, uh, this is kind of cool. I this I assume this is tongue firmly planted in cheek of by course. someone. Yeah. In, uh, yes. Probably yeah, they never filed the paperwork. This, but. Is, uh, this is in Missouri. Mm -hmm. This sounds like more of a Florida thing. Yeah, I could see that. Well, there are certain instances where I would uh, I would stack Missouri up to Florida every now and then. Well, yeah. being I'm, I am a Missourian, and sure. uh, so you yeah. tell what, it's 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 like uh, Florida without the jet skis. Uh, no, no, Lake of the Ozarks is pretty popular oh, okay, with jet skis. Okay, very, yeah. very good. <laughs> yeah. I'd, say, I'd say every now and then Ohio gets up there, too, with uh, you know, some with, wackiness. Yeah, nuttiness with football, probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, if you were going to do a duel, what weapon would you choose? Um, Who gets to pick? That's my question. In the in traditional duel rules, if I walk up to you and demand satisfaction, do you get to pick swords or... I think that the one not demanding satisfaction gets to pick, I think. Is that how it works? Yeah. And I think you have to go with pistols, right? I, you don't think you have to. I think you can yeah, go they're in a box. You, you open the box. Oh. There's the pistol. What do you... Like? An offended senator shall send a written challenge to the offending senator. Those involved would both agree on the choice of weapons. Oh, yeah. We're missing the whole... You got oh, to agree on you, it. These no, people you, can't agree on anything. No. You have to have a second. Well, you want it to be fair. Right. Who so, would you have your second, Tom? Would you let me be your second? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for some reason, you you can't continue. I would be your second. And then, so you'd be handling the weapons, or uh, would I be uh, would I be the one you demand satisfaction from? Maybe <laughs> okay. I've got this. Well, what are the dueling weapon options? Guns, swords, slingshot. Slingshot. I mean, yeah, maybe like a bow and arrow, ball. but if one's a skilled bow archer and, and the other isn't. Yeah, exactly. that's not fair. Not fair. So, no. the, so that's why they have both agree. Okay. But whoever gets to pick, if they are a skilled archer, uh, you know, too No, bad. but they have to agree on it. <laughs> but isn't the, the other guy so got... In the cartoon, the best of the duel is where the one, one guy walks and the other walks back or is right behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Always hilarious. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, well, that's fun. Uh, a little fun in politics. We have more politics. Politics in the news, but this is fun stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. good. I know we have the marijuana now party. Yeah, that's what we're emerging talk about. in the world of politics. Plus, we have a great survey about aliens walking among us. Also, comedian Al Jackson will be weighing in shortly. We have news about Dead and Company, John Mayer in Las Vegas, and um, some uh, news uh, once again about uh, the Minnesota snowplow competition. In case you were paying attention. Um, but uh, right now, 
I want to talk a little bit about those Super Bowl parties and the ideal thing to have, you got to get on this today, would be some delicious cheese from Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Right, Josh? That's exactly right. They have artisan meats, quality cheese. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese has everything you'll need to serve up amazing snacks during the big game or any occasion, including those famous squeaky curds. They're made fresh in the morning, most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. Plus, there's a new flavor of curds out there. This is available for a limited time only. So don't miss out on this. And, man, is it perfect for the super uh, the big game? Mm. I don't know what one's allowed to say. Gardner's Buffalo yeah. Wing Cheese Curds, only available through February 6th. This is a must-serve for your football festivities. Buffalo Wing Cheese Curds, everyone's going to love them. Don't forget to bring the oven-baked cheese as well. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it, even microwave it. Be sure to try Gardner's newest flavor, jalapeno oven baked cheese man oh man some spicy ooey gooey cheese for the big day from super sharp aged cheddars to summer sausages to their meat sticks which make great stir sticks for bloody marys check out all the flavors and bundled package deals at gardenerswisconsincheese.com try them out you hear a lot of ads for a lot of different things this is a product i think you're really going to enjoy please give them a shot cheese is always a great idea and right now receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardenersWisconsinCheese.com. That's GardenersWisconsinCheese.com. Simply delicious stuff. We have some spicy meat sticks on the counter right now. Here. Oh, and if you're stirring your Bloody Marys during your Super Bowl party with plastic sticks, you're responsible for global warming. Yes. What you should be using, of course, are those delicious meat sticks from Gardeners Wisconsin Cheese. Coming right back, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. For your information. I've got something that'll cheer you up. We often uh, record announcements for various what? stations along the Bob and oh, Tom radio no. network. Right. And uh, the other I day. I thought, I'd hope you'd forgotten about this. The other day we were recording yeah, something too. and. Uh, you guys, as usual, were. <laughs> I honestly forgot about I do not know what this is. Are you kidding? I'm not. We were joking around. So we were uh, reading this uh, commercial for an interesting place, a fine place, and um, we had to. This is this, these are what you would call an, uh, an outtake version of it, where did, we did, will not be. Uh, we're not going to put them on our albums, the 50 um, studio outtake album. Oh, see, people would want to hear that. It's <laughs> like yeah. the Beatles again. Just like they'd yeah. want to hear Josh yesterday saying yeah. something. <laughs> Bad. S he, slip of the. He just yeah. said the oh, S word. Lord. It was an accident. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, FCC doesn't recognize uh, that as the so called know, S word. I was in a vulnerable spot. Uh -huh. I know you were. I've apologized. I had no idea. I thought it was a part of the gag. Um, once again, uh, how, Josh and Chip dressed up as the that? girls in um, the little girl twins in The Shining. It was brilliantly <laughs> hilarious. It was very funny. Everything about it was funny. I think we have some photographs in the various bomb social media. Great wigs, platforms. by the way. Hands off yes. to you. Yeah, I may have kept it. Okay, uh, here we go. This is um, I well, this is what it sounds like when we're we've had a long day. We're trying to record a few. Yeah, if you think we don't get along on the air, wait till you hear this. <laughs> so this has been beep. This is the beep one. I'm assuming over here, Dean. Okay. Oh my God! No, why would he give you a non-beeped version? <laughs> maybe he's oh, yeah. well. Dean's close to retirement. He might <laughs> like to see. The but see, and maybe it's me. But it's like, well, of course, he forgot to beep everything. Uh, yeah. Do you guys remember the time that happened? One yes, time. That's one of my favorite things ever. In 90,000 shows, one yeah. time, God, he forgot was, to beep it. God, that was funny. It was funny. We were playing back something that had been beeped, but we, they just missed one of them. Yes. And the one they missed was the big one. I'll blow your head <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Head off. Okay. So here we go. This is, uh, here's how it goes. We're trying to read a commercial. Bless you. Knock that off. <laughs> Out. <laughs> off. Anytime, Tom. What, are you having a little moment there? A little tea? <laughs> He's rolling. Yes. I thought you gave me the wait sign. Sorry, they're they're all chomping at the bit in here. <laughs> Might as well be on the air. Hi. You thinking about f for Thanksgiving? I'm sexually frustrated just trying to fill out the damn dating app. How about adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions? Okay, here we go. It's the Low Country's premier adult store. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? What kind of stuff do they have, Tom? 
Adult toys. Ooh. So you're supposed to answer. <laughs> oh, sorry. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? Well, adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions. Leave the family fireworks at the Thanksgiving table and have some fireworks in the bedroom with your loved one. Oh, oh did you guys know that has the best bachelorette supplies? Oh, cool. I know yes. they have fun furniture. Mm -hmm. And Josh... Yes. For you. Yes. <laughs> a <d> straw? <laughs> well, they probably have those. I don't know that I would sip from one. But... Right. And, of course, Josh, they have novelties. Right. All right. Well, You're I'm... novel. Now, Josh, why don't you do the tag at the end? Let's see. Of course, novelties. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's <laughs> it's the only part, the only, only part you read verbatim. It's verbatim, pretty simple. It that says. means in Latin, read the whole oh. thing. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the Low Country's premier adult store, 2992 Ashley Phosphate Road, or online at guiltypleasuressc.com. Why does it always sound like you're running out of air when you read stuff? <laughs> online at guilt. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stop at all like that. God, Tom. You know, you at the end, he goes, at guilty pleasures, you can barely get the seas out of air. Yeah, I, I did run out of air there. And we learned what verbatim meant. I knew what it meant. <laughs> well, you were going so slow, we had places to go. What kind of furniture do they have? I don't know. Well, here's There's what happened. Guilty store. people go online and look it up. I'm I sure bet they have, have sex a, chairs or swings. swings. Do yeah. they sell, yeah. those, do oh, they sell okay. those male member straws? Haven't you ever had a Chinese basket job? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to say no. What is that? Oh, she hangs in a basket, and, yeah. maybe, and, she, and then you... Uh, uh, put her and on spin and you spin her, yeah. Oh. What? I'm going to have to try this. Yeah. So what is then she vomits all over you from... <laughs> That sounds awful. <laughs> what a weird, kinky guy you are. I know. <laughs> Sexy Tom oh, is... Yeah. And he got all pissed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, he, but he walked away, and I took the hat off. And like an hour later, I'd been drinking, and I forgot. You ever forget? Oh, happened, yeah. happened to me. I put the hat back on. The guy comes over to me. He's poking me in the shoulder with two fingers and goes, uh, you're out of here. And I was like, I don't think so, Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> they hurled me out of the box. And then they squared off with me in the parking lot, and I backed down from the fight because I don't know how many of them it would have taken to whip my ass, uh -huh. but I knew how many they were going to use. <laughs> it's a handy little piece of information to have right there. It yes, was overkill. Sir. Where are you from, by the way? Patterson, from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, boy. you know, small, sure. thugged out town. You mm -hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> people like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? <laughs> I come over for dinner. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Todd Snyder, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. To the Bob and Tom show. We're all here in our places with bright, shining faces, and I believe we have a, a special guest. There he is, a special yes. guest. Oh, we're joined by... Comedian Al Jackson. He is clean. Am, oh. am I still a special guest? It's been oh, some years. I'm going to be Fam Bam. Fam, fam Bam. And uh, Al is uh, re a reporter and a uh, staff member. He's on the he's on the panel um, all the time on the TV on the yes. Daily Blast Live DBL. You can uh, see the handsome Al Jackson. And, I never uh, miss a day. I love working. Now, Al, Al, uh, Al, you and I uh, we talk about language a lot. I got a, a real quick question. Tell it to me. Um, I uh, was uh, buying some gifts uh, before the holidays, and I uh, said to Just Kelly, "Just say hard drugs, Tom." I said, I, "I said to Kelly, I'm going to go. I'm going to go uh, buy some booze uh, for you know so and so, so and so." And, and she goes, "No one calls it that anymore." Um, no. What in in your parlance? Uh, I know that you're a non-drinker, but uh, if you were going to be getting some uh, alcohol-based gifts, what is the uh, street term that you would use? I put I put my time in. It's just like a, a a retired colonel. He doesn't go to war anymore, but he put he he did something to earn those stripes. I I drink enough where I can answer this question. Uh, you can call it a bunch of things. Uh, you know the way that my friends and I. It was very specific. So you know, like uh, like oh man, last night I was on that yak. Like, what do you think that means? On that yak. Is that is that a brand of something? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's uh, the second uh, syllable. Type. No, cognac. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Cognac. Yeah. Cognac. 
Yeah. So wow. like you, you know, that's like Hennessy brandy, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, and then you say, oh, uh, you know, I don't mess with that brown. I don't, I don't mess with the dark liquors. Uh, you know, Jack Daniels. I, I drink the clear. So you're more of a tequila, uh, vodka guy. Mm-hmm. So uh, or you can even go that lick. Oh, which is really just a short for uh, alcoholic, really. But it really just it, it <laughs> not loses. liquor. Yeah, just liquor. Like yeah. So you know, I'm huh. on, I was you know I was on that lick last night. Oh uh-huh. yeah, definitely. So a booze is definitely out. I'm trying to think. When would you? Uh, no, I would say because well, well, we're we're probably gonna have a Super Bowl party. I would tell my I would ask my girl, do we have, do we have enough booze? There we go. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. yeah. Now my mom would say hooch. <laughs> I guess, is Ooh. that some depression era? <laughs> you know, that's actually Ooch an is... Inuit expression from up north. Inuit, <laughs> is it yes. Really? Yeah, seriously. Uh, oh. That's where it came from. Oh, Ooch? well, I mean, ho- hooch is just, I feel like it's regional. I feel like uh, if I went to my ex-wife's part of part of the country, Indiana, you know, southern, like, they called it hooch. My, uh, my fam in Ohio, hooch. West Virginia, hooch. Yeah. I think hooch is a, it's just a regional thing. I don't think in uh, Arizona they would call it that, though. I feel like hooch is... It's probably something that's made that you can't find at the store. Uh, you know, oh, like Uncle's, uh, got, yeah. a batch, yeah. Uncle's yeah. got a batch of, uh, of his special hooch like, he makes at Christmas. Yeah, like yep. moonshine or yeah. something. Yeah. Turpentine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. It's okay. Yeah, it's also good for getting the rust off of your bicycle wheels. <laughs> uh, Al, we had a disturbing story this morning, and I don't think this is so um, disturbing. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that they, they would let you even talk about this on your show. You, and you have some uh, very bright women on the show. Uh, and uh, yourself, of course. Oh, and uh, this really bothered you, doesn't it? I uh, also read, read th- th- This is from the Kotex people, <laughs> and it's it's a uh, it's it's a Valentine's Day gift. Go ahead. They tell partnered them. with food brand Fazy to create the quote, no. "Let's have period sex chocolates." It includes five truffles made with vegan dark chocolate, and shatavari, an alleged libido boosting herb. Again, um, would you? present this to your sweetie no because it's such a libido killing thought <laughs> that i don't know if the chocolate could be enough to are you supposed to like be like hey you know i could get used to this like it's a very like gross uh say, look i uh, know i'm gonna take that back i'm not gonna sex shame if you are fine with uh uh the natural situations uh bless you but that's not that that's not for me that wouldn't I don't, I think the bigger thing, Christy, I don't like mixing sex and food. Oh, that Tom's like do that anything. too. Yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. also, I don't want honey okay. anywhere, I just, or whipped I, I, cream, but you get but out of here. Having, uh, presenting let's have period sex chocolate seems to me to be almost anti-romantic. It's, it's too, a it's very too, strange, it's, yeah. It's, it's too clinical. I can't imagine anybody would do this, but, uh, well, wouldn't, you know, if you did that, would, isn't it kind of insulting? <laughs> I think little. it's the opposite. I think it's funny. I think it's it opens up. Oh, hey, this is cool. I'm all. It's all good. I'm okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Whatever wait, floats wait, your Christy, boat. Maybe maybe I'm looking at this differently. Is are they saying like it's it, 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 if you like this, then eventually you can get comfortable with uh, performing at that time of the month? Is that what this is saying? Hmm. I, I, I think be it's clear. I think. I would give it to a man, my man, to say, "Hey, it's okay. I'm I'm fine with it. If you are to have sex during my period." Oh, oh, I thought we were talking about. Uh, but it's a Valentine's uh, Day gift. So yeah. Oh, okay. No, okay. Look, see, sex during the period is a very that's a, a, a per couple right uh, discussion. But I'm yeah. not anti. I'm not. That's not that crazy to me because everybody's situation is different. Uh, Everybody you know. has a towel, Yeah, right? but I mean, celebrating it with a chocolate box <laughs> like, is what's bothering me. Oh, uh, uh, well, going, no, damn it, get your towel, say. honey. It's time. Let's go. <laughs> well, op- op- open up the box. Open up the, open up the yeah. box. It's got black towels, Clorox, oh, and a box of chocolates. Let's do it. I got the scab rag. <laughs> why I love Christy, the nonchalant way she said, everybody's got a towel. Yeah. And oh, well. it's like... Yeah, and I mean, re- really, truly, and there is uh, that towel has been designated, and sure. you know, a loved one that's visiting goes to reach for it, and you tackle them <laughs> uh, like they're about to set <laughs> off uh, some. <laughs> hey, baby, it's yeah. my birthday. Look for the brown towel in the closet. Oh. 
on. Yes. I'm just saying. I just it seems weirds to be, Tom out it's, to it's, even it's think a, about it. It's an odd way to celebrate the... Uh, the chocolate's the part that bothers me. No, I no, it's not. not. It is, yeah, it is. No, it's, it's not. It's a tough conversation so to have. The chocolate you eat before because it's libido uh, enhancing. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Sorry, Al. I, I, this, this is the kind of topic your producers wouldn't let you touch, I assume. I think we could dance around it. It'd be fun. I th- because, look, there's this weird thing. You know, our audience is probably 52 plus, our demo. Mm-hmm. And it's always like, well, they don't want to talk about it. I'm like, these people have grandkids. They've had sex before. Yeah. It's fine. It's uh, it's usually when you go to a college and you just say, so my girlfriend and I are thinking about having sex. And it, it's just you feel the tension of a 19-year-old that's ready to write a blog. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, I, would, I went to a comedy show, and I was offended, I didn't know. So, yes, oh I, have, I think, uh, yes, that Christy Lee's response is why I told you, Tom, since I was a youngin', which is actually our first word today, so, uh, and not in this context, I'm using it, since I was a youngin', I've liked older women. Mm. I always have. I never liked my sister's friends. I always liked, like, my mom's friends in the kitchen, Back in like eighty seven, you the know, biggest, you come downstairs. Biggest band for you? What's the biggest band for you? Uh, yeah, that's what she means of age. 20? By the way, twenty years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. She 25. was twenty years older. Seven and a half. Well, that is so yeah. odd that you would mention that Al, because Tom found himself in the same situation. <laughs> His mother oh, would yeah. have uh, play bridge, and this her, is a lie. Al. Yeah. His no, friends no. would come. Uh, he got uh, laid by a couple that's of his mother's friends. Often seduced him, and yeah. they used bridge mix. Hot. They yeah. used yeah. 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 chocolates. They that's said, why you have a problem. Sorry, Al. Here, Let's... young fella, suck on this. Al's Al's job on this show is to help me get hipper. Do we have any? language issues today al <laughs> yes tom let's uh, let's go with the word i just used and not in the context i just used it the word youngin hmm when would you say that what does youngin mean so okay it doesn't mean a, a younger person no youngin uh is it an activity i was youngin last night <laughs> no <laughs> okay that's guess. fair guess i think that. uh no uh youngin uh, Man, is, we so were... is, it, is it a thing no um, okay, Josh, you, you're looking puzzled too. I, any any thoughts here? No, none. Youngin. Young. Mm. Uh, does it mean okay. um, uh, a, a, a dressing in a way that makes you look younger? No. Young Good guess, enough? though. Any, anybody got a guess Mm-mm. before you? Yeah. <sighs> I, um, I don't. Uh, babysitting? I don't know. Yeah. No, that's a good guess. No, youngin's just like a way to say, uh, it, it was really an East Coast way to say uh, girls. Like, uh, yeah, so I'm talking to this youngin over there, and she's, you know, oh. acting like she's got a boyfriend. Okay. It's just, I, I don't know why it is. It's just like, and it has no, it always has to do with above age women, but it was just like the way that people talked, to, the way the men talked about women for a long time in the eh, early, mid 90s. Oh, huh. wow. Yeah. All right. There's so a bunch now, of youngins over there. Now that youngin would be 70. Yes. Uh, but, well, that's the way <laughs> big facts. Time works. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay just, just checking. Uh, uh, what else have we got, Al? Tom, that word would be one time or phrase. That <laughs> phrase. What does the phrase "one time" mean? Wow. Um, In what uh, context would you use that? One time. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it something you would only do once? Kind of, sort of. That's where the name gets comes from. <laughs> you're on the right. You're on the right track, but you're still fishing in the dark a little bit. I only gave her the Kotex chocolates one time, and uh, <laughs> if you're just one joining, night stand. One she night was stand, a one time. Yeah, one time. No, it's uh, not no? sexual. Oh. It's not a good thing. That's oh. a big hint. Does that have to do with law enforcement? It sure does, Ace. <laughs> oh, it's her mix because life. it only takes one time. One uh, time, be got- gone. What is it, Ace? I just know the Sir Mix a Lot song. One time got a no steak. Case. Yeah, one time. I think it means the police yeah. are showing up at one time. Yeah, ju- or just the police in yeah. general. So just like, uh, hey, uh, put that uh, joint away. You know, one time's around here. Ma. So it's another way to say 5 or as you would say, Tom, the fuzz. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm-hmm. yes. yes. Yeah. Well, as you would say with your fellow Jets and Sharks. <laughs> uh, is, is Popo still uh, valid? Is that out there still? Uh, I don't think so. Popo's Anytime going you hear the word Popo, it's on a rap song that's on a CD. So, no. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, Tom, My Man 50 Grand is still out there. Okay, so good. don't I'll ever stop that. using it. Yes. I, I would I assume kinda, that this... I kind of like that. The slang <laughs> term cops, I think, is has kind of stuck around, like the word cool. 
Cops, you, you, cops, cops has been around for a long time, and I, I don't think it's going away. No, cops Cops is just like, it's a word now. It's not even considered slang. Almost like cool. I don't think cool could go away. You know what really made a, a comeback what? is awesome. Yes. I didn't know awesome would come back and dope. I was looking at some uh, influencer, like a 20-year-old girl. She was doing some kind of promo for some kind of stretch pants. And she goes, guys, <laughs> these pants are really dope. And I was like, oh, that was like a word that rappers in the early 80s. Like, we interviewed... Yeah. Uh, DMC from Run DMC and like they were saying that then and the dope went away for like 20 years but made a weird resurgence so yeah there's some words that no, come no, and go Netflix and had that show and I was like oh that's is that back about yeah. young uh, black guys or whatever and yeah it was called dope yeah it's wow. uh it's super weird it's a very it's like a good nostalgic word. word that became like uh yeah because dope ki ki it tr it also kind of doubles as cool I think dope referring to drugs is kind of old school like somebody says go give me some dope it's like usually that was happening in the 70s but now if you say something's dope you'd be like oh you got an 88 inch screen that's the, dude that's dope how'd you get that how much was that so it's like it's it's kind of like a synonym for cool. I, I always kind of felt like there was a racial line between dope and awesome like mm. dope essentially means awesome oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but white guys but, said awesome yeah, and black yeah, dude yeah. said dope yeah trevor <laughs> says, <laughs> trevor says awesome yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. a lot of black dudes including myself say awesome now like okay. you, could, you could just go like uh dude i went to thanksgiving to josh's dude his mom had to spread it was awesome bro <laughs> well it was dope <laughs> having you there yeah well thank yeah. you see you there we go this race is coming together we should be holding hands on a poster <laughs> we are we are the world uh, it's a Al great documentary. Al Jackson is our guest. Al is one of the hosts of the Daily Blast Live DBL on a TV yes, near you. Uh, and uh, what else you got for me? We got time for one more word. Oh, Tom, we got one more. So let's just go with uh, another phrase I like. High post. High post? High post. And High post? Not, hmm. Yes. Uh, not a basketball term. Not uh, referring no, to not uh, a, not a is it, horse racing uh, thing. Is it a social media no. post that gets a lot of likes? No, that's a good that's a good guess though. Hmm. Is it what you say when you're walking past Mr. Malone? <laughs> <laughs> Hi post. You could? <laughs> yes. Put that thing on your face. <laughs> so what you'd yell at chick. Is it like Watch a, your it, face. is it like setting a high bar for something? Yeah. Like that's it, a, look that, at Tom with the with the you know that wasn't a walk off cuz you didn't guess. You know what it was? You fouled two off, and the you know people are like, "Oh, he's going to strike out," and then you hit a screamer for a triple. That's exactly what it is. That's just like uh, you know, uh, you, 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 like Christy Lee. She's been in radio. She's very successful. I'm just a young guy, you know, trying to get started in TV. I can't, I can't deal with her lifestyle. She's probably too high post for me, oh, even though she's yeah. not. Right. You just Thank be like, you. oh, that she, she. It's like it's high end, you know. Life of luxury. So, Tom, <laughs> before we go, please use the phrase "high post." Um. Wow. I don't know. I don't. I. I could never do stand-up comedy as well as Al Jackson. He, man, he's too high post. I'll. I'll take it. That is not <laughs> correct. But I will take it. <laughs> Pretty basic. Uh, I'm just trying to trying to be cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, I you were very dope. With you're that awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I, I went to buy some uh, hooch. And I'll tell you what, that uh, I didn't have enough money. That booze they were selling was so high post. There, yes. Is that yeah, closer? It would be more closer, but more just like I've, I've always heard it uh, uh, with close, but uh, referring to away. women. You know, like, oh, yeah. man, you know, dude, you know, she, I, I work a regular job. She wants me to be all high post when we go out. I don't have that many nice clothes. So it's kind of like it's oh. referring to like women and like a lifestyle that they kind of expect. And maybe you can provide it. Like, hey, I can provide that high post lifestyle you're looking for, Christy. Mm. We're on season seven, girl. Yeah, we are. All right. <laughs> that youngin's going to get, uh, uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want somebody to clip and isolate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that youngin. <laughs> well, thanks, Al. You, you got any live gigs coming up? Uh, I do. I'm uh, I'm at the Denver Comedy Lounge uh, for Valentine's Day, two shows, 630 and 930. And... Uh, Tom, uh, please, I want to let everybody know I have a music and a comedy album yes. both available uh, at, uh, just on my website and on my Instagram, Al Jackson Live, uh, Al Jackson IG, my Instagram, uh, and my website is Al Jackson Live. So all that's there. 
Um, so yeah, pick up both All of them. Right. I hope you like it. Pe- people like my album. It's so weird. I just did it for fun. Okay, cool. That's Thanks, Al. It's always a pleasure. We'll look forward I to talking to you y'all. next week. Um, and uh, right now, love you. A couple quick things. We should come visit us. Hmm? I wish Al would come visit us. It's been so long since we've seen him in person. We'll get him out here. Okay. Looking, look, looking forward to that. Um, uh, what do you got coming up, Christy? Uh, coming up, we still have Minnesota's legal marijuana now party. One, how many Americans do you think feel that aliens are living amongst us? It's a pretty high number. Pretty high Good. number. I was, I was kind of surprised. Eighty <laughs> percent. It should yeah. be high. <laughs> and if you've ever. And by the way, uh, the, they're allowed to vote. Oh. The aliens? Yeah. Uh, I, we're you talking and I, about aliens like from Mars and stuff, right? right? You and okay. I have the same memory when we were kids. We saw the commercial that said aliens need to report to the post office. And it wasn't <laughs> aliens from outer space. It was aliens from other countries. They didn't make that clear. They didn't make it clear. <laughs> and you're a kid. You're going, hey, yeah. that's wow. It's amazing. They're like, wow, they're here already. We're going to go to the post oh, office. We don't need Plutonians to come here, yeah. here and check yeah. it out. I want to see the flying saucers. <laughs> uh, right now, uh, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a common misconception about relationships that they've got to be easy in order to be right. That's not true. Take some work out there. And maybe you want to work a little bit on yourself in this great 2024. Things are going great so far. Let's keep them going great. That's where therapy can come in. And BetterHelp is uh, a great way to access therapy. What it's about is uh, becoming the best version of yourself and doing it in a way that's convenient and flexible and suited to your schedule. The way it works is you can get um, lined up with one of 25,000 therapists by filling out a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist, and by the way, you can change at any time if you want to, no additional charge. But the the key to this is the therapy itself is done on online. So it's done via whatever, like a Zoom call or a phone call or texting back and forth. That's the way it's done to keep it so flexible and so suited to your schedule. You don't have to leave work, get in a car, drive there, sit in the lobby. No, it's just much, much quicker and much, much more convenient. But at the same time, you're getting quality therapy. So get the details by going to betterhelp.com slash BT show. Add that slash BT show part to get 10% knocked off your first month. So you can become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. By going to BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash B-T show. When we come back, we have interesting news about uh, a lady who didn't even know she was running for president. Mm. But she is. We'll find out about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us? Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at Bob and Tom. Chris, are you, you're a single guy, right? Uh, I am. 37 and single. Nobody plans that. <laughs> <laughs> right? No one's in high school going, I'm just going to wait till the end and see who's left. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to find someone my age if for no other reason than they would get my references. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> right? You get tired of telling girls who the black crows were. <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever dropped a Fletch reference on a 23-year-old female, <laughs> but you might as well hand that girl a ruby. Cube and a beeper. Because <laughs> she's just staring at you like, what's a water buffalo? <laughs> it's hard to even find a single 37 year old woman. And then when you do, they have a tendency to fall into three categories. They're either A, super career oriented, successful chick. Mm hmm. So I'm out, (laughs) right? Those girls are looking for a guy that owns a suit. Mm -hmm. I have a pair of slacks. I don't know where they are. (laughs) I know I got them because my mom bought them for me. So I had something to wear when people die. (laughs) I don't know if you've ever shown up to a funeral in jeans, but your mom refuses to let that go. (laughs) Yep. In my defense. Fence, the funeral I showed up to in jeans was for a 94-year-old woman. Mm-hmm. Not exactly a tragic event. Mm. 94 is a solid run. Yeah. It's about time. <laughs> uh have you ever been to a 94-year-old person's funeral? Nobody's sad. Everyone's just happy to be off work on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> a second category of women single at my age are divorcees, and those women are like Chernobyl. They're beautiful, 
but something bad happened, <laughs> and now we all need to leave it alone for a few years. <laughs> for the millennials listening, Chernobyl is a city in Russia. I know a lot of you are wondering why I'm mentioning that map on Call of Duty. Uh, and the last category of women single at my age are women that have been single the entire time because their therapist hasn't quite got their pill combo lockdown <laughs> and they still have episodes where they'll break into your apartment and set fire to kittens <laughs> I don't even have kittens man she brought them <laughs> Chris Porter hey it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you Gardner's Wisconsin cheese their famous oven baked cheese it arrives pre-baked you just heat it and eat it grill it skillet or air fry it. Check out their new oven baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We. We don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno-flavored oven-baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven-baked bundle package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. If you catch one, here's some advice. One is dirty and the other ain't nice. If they polite and always walk up from behind. <laughs> Make small talk, never let them see fear. Don't work alone, just bait or bed. When you're done, just drop them by the river. <laughs> turtles and whores. Turtles and whores. I've caught both while fishing. I'm always on a mission. And they both hate the kitchen. Turtles and whores. Turtles and whores. <laughs> <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you, oh no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Oh my God. What? I can't hear. Shh, Give me the headset. Shh, shh, I'm getting something. Oh my God. It's the most terrifying sound you'll ever hear. What? What? What, what is it? I don't know. Would you shut up? This is a matter of life or death. Years and years of civilization could be rocked by this. Uh, well, give me the f headset. I want to hear. Oh my God. <laughs> Forget about the Da Vinci Code. Bob and Tom Pictures presents the Morse Code. <laughs> oh no, I can't believe it. What? What's the message say? It's, it says, greetings. Stop. I knocked up Mary Magdalene. Stop. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Stop. The Morse Code. <laughs> Eastern Orthodox religion meets Western Union. Don't miss Morse Code, the movie. Only from Bob and Tom Pictures. Morse Code. It'll dash your belief system. For more previews, go to morsecode.dot.dash.dot.dot.com. <laughs> My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, hello.
And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More uh, ah, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> venue. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I believe we're over at the news desk with Christy Lee. Is that I correct? believe you're correct. Mm -hmm. A Colorado woman discovered she is on Minnesota's presidential primary ballot. Whoa, really? From a Google alert. <laughs> Ms. Crystal Gable told the Minneapolis Star Tribune that after clicking on the Google alert, she learned that her name had been placed on Minnesota's March 5th presidential primary ballot as a candidate for Minnesota's Legal Marijuana Now Party. <laughs> I, love a, I love a nice one-issue party. <laughs> she went on to say, I did not give consent to be on the Minnesota ballot for this race. Once candidates have been submitted for the ballot, changes cannot be made, though. And Gable is now encouraging Minnesotans not to vote for her. You know that's going to backfire. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you'd be wasting your presidential... Vote. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All righty. Interesting. So a Colorado woman can get on a ballot without wanting to. But she's running for... But somebody who's actually running can't get on a ballot in Colorado. Yeah, Interesting. apparently. Mm -hmm. This fair. is really complicated. I'm, I, maybe if I smoke marijuana, I'd understand what just happened. I don't know what's going on here. Um, does she have a slogan? Like a... What was the... Uh, a chicken in every pot? What would this be? A... Uh, pot oh. in every... Kitchen? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very good. Or a, 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 a bud in every bowl. A, 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 uh, oh, there you a, go. A, jo a joint in every jar. I don't know. Yeah. What a weird thing. Yeah. wonder how they got her name. I mean, I mean. Yeah, how the hell? Is she part of that group? Bear, I, I, I don't know. I think is she, she? I, I forget. I read the whole article. I think she was, yeah, lived there or something a while ago. Ah, okay. But I'm running whether you like it or not. <laughs> but she's respectfully declining. Mm-hmm. But they can't take this. her name off the ballot. Right, right. And again, as you pointed out, getting your name on a ballot here, I I don't know, it seems to be either too easy or too hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's going on here? What the hell's happening? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, well, who cares? New survey reveals one out of three Americans believe aliens live among us. Boy, that's, that explains a lot. According to the poll of 1,000 people conducted on behalf 33%? of... 33%? Wealthofgeeks.com. Am I the only one uh, in here that... Would be of that. Ilk? I, I think. I think it could be possible. They live. Yeah. Really? You oh, think yeah. they'd allow right. what's happening to be happening? Thirty-five percent said they feel aliens may already be present here on Earth. They'd oh, move. You ever heard of the Prime Directive? You can study a, a group without actually altering or affecting their or changing their culture and their that ways. That would be the ideal experiment without having a, an experiment without affecting With a lot of yeah. affecting yeah. things. The yeah. Heisenberg principle goes out the window. Right. Yeah. 40% of those surveyed disagree, 20% unsure. When asked who they feel may currently be an alien... <laughs> and 12% acted like they weren't home. Oh. <laughs> is something? This is good. That's, that's actually a very astute observation. <laughs> right, right. It might be higher than that. Yeah, exactly. I would say closer to 90. Yeah. When asked who they feel may currently be an alien, 40% oh. stated... Their current boss is a definite possibility. <laughs> well, that's silly. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that son of a bitch is an alien. I know he is. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not going to work Saturday. Uh, no way. A third uh, said they feel I... a certain celebrity may not be originally uh, be from this planet. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder what celebrity I they're thinking see, of. What is it called? Is it the, the Venn diagram of people who believe in aliens... And uh, uh, people who believe in Bigfoot and people who have master's degrees. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to... Oh, oh see. look at that. I think that's oh, a yeah. small intersection. Well, well, well. Yeah, he's a... I have two bachelors. Doesn't that equal a master's? I think it does. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they have uh, playing cards. That what a, <laughs> right, you can trade. You can trade them and see what, a, what it's worth, yeah. 55% of those polled believed in the existence of aliens, while 35% do not. Okay. Godwin, where are you at on this? I don't believe. You don't? No. Uh -huh. I mean, I think there's something out there. I, don't I think the you world don't think, alone. Well, well then, then you, you do. They've gotten then, here. Then you do believe. I don't but, think they're among us, I mean. Oh. Right. You believe in the existence of aliens, but you don't believe they're here on this planet. Correct. Okay. Interesting. I think my 16-year-old daughter thinks I'm an alien. Oh, yeah. that's There's a good chance. Well, yeah. Pat, what? your son's, what, 13 now? 13, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, he thinks you're... Oh, yeah. That happened a couple what of years the, ago. What the hell are you talking about? I think you're an alien. <laughs> yeah. You're our boss, okay. right? Yeah. Wait a second. It's okay if they're here. I mean, for now. Yeah. 
As long as they don't turn on us. Like Yeah, yeah. They're just studying us. That movie. They're, they're, they're not going to have to turn on us. We've, we're turning on ourselves. That's true. Back, we're back, in a, back, 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 back. <laughs> well, Mars attacks. Yeah, back. Mars attacks. We're an alien race to officially make contact. 45% of people feel our current world leaders are the right people to represent Earth. Really? 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 40% said they believe they would be able to secure peace if personally chosen to represent our planet. That's right. And talks with is, extraterrestrial life. Is uh, <laughs> the phrase, take me to your leader, is that from an actual movie or yes, is it just I wonder, cartoons? I wonder where, where did that, that start? start? Yeah, that's really good. I wonder what the first case of take me where, to your yeah, leader. I don't know where that started. <laughs> Would you um, want to be in talks with the aliens? It has to be. No, it. because you never know what will accidentally set them off. Right, in, in we Mars, saw attacks, Mars attacks. They released the doves, yes. a sign of peace for us. <laughs> yeah. But who knows? I, I got, didn't you get the feeling those Martians would have attacked no matter what? Yeah, I kind of got that feeling, too. <laughs> what to serve man? It's a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just, is Take Me to Your Leader just supposed to be like some old war film? Maybe. And or, then it became, well, the, that's how people would talk if they met another species. Uh, <laughs> I got a, I got a, it feels like Rod Serling is at the bottom of the picnic. <laughs> yeah. He had something I'll to look do. It up I, would think, the I would think early 50s. Take Earlier me to that? your leader. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Maybe. It's, you it's, think but, it's uh, uh, Narada, Klaatu, Nikto? That's what I thought. I don't know that it's that movie. Michael Rennie or? Right. Yeah. Well, the Day the, the Earth Stood Still? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's a good flick. Did they say take me to your leader? That's now? what I thought. I think I don't do. know if they do or not. I thought they did. Klaatu, Narada. <laughs> Honey, I'm in. Is there I'm a, in love with the aliens. Is there a porno version of that? <laughs> oh, yeah. The day the Earth didn't stand still. No, oh, I thought you were going, oh, yeah. you're going with Klaatu. Karadu, Falato. The day the girth. <laughs> oh, I like that. Remember, uh, everybody thought Klaatu was uh, the Beatles. They got banned. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. This is saying in multiple. Uh, now I'm just reading from the internet. Sure. Take Me to Your Leader, believed to have originated in a 1953 cartoon by Alex Graham in the New Yorker magazine. Oh. It depicted two aliens telling a horse, <laughs> kindly take us to your president, which <laughs> morphed into leader. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. I like that very much. Yeah, that hmm. makes two sense. Two aliens saying to a horse, yes, take, take us to your, your president. Uh -huh. okay, that's crazy. Oh, we're going to come right back. <laughs> With, uh, with comedian Jeff well, at Dunham. Least, at least you let us know. Uh, th Thank this you. is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1 888 Bob Tom 1 or at bobandtom.com. What about the Blow Jovian guy? Was, was this the, I think it was one of the Blow Jovians. Was this the Mad Armenians? Was this Might have uh, been Bluto Blow Jovian. And, and, and the Mad Armenians. Do we have everybody out there? I can't see. Um, do we need Chick? Okay. Do we need Chick? Do we, need we do need yes, Chick. We do for oh, this we next need tune. Okay. We're going to need the oh. Chickster. Oh. Yeah, there's a little vocalizing from uh, everyone on this one. Oh, that's this one. Oh, this yes. one. Yeah. Okay. That song. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you all got to get out there. No, no not can, everybody. We can sing from in here. And ready? And ready? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. You're fed up. Wait a minute. This is called. Chick McGee, everybody! Yeah. Oh, the Simple classics. Thing. You screwed up I something. screwed up the damn My with help, God. name and address. Nice, nice job, Chick. Nice job. <clears throat> That's it. It and I even rehearsed yesterday. I did rehearse. You, you did? That's with rehearsal. <laughs> Thank God you rehearsed. Think how horrible it would have been. It was and nice. I not. Get the... You oh, did a great God. job. So wait, let's nice. do it again. One, no, two, two, three. three no. <laughs> Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles.
asked her, I go, I go, what's that like when it's at its worst? And she goes, oh, I just sleep all the time and I don't leave the apartment. I was like, uh oh. Those are the two things that make me happy. <laughs> Heck now yeah. I'm depressed that I'm not depressed. I don't know. But I like depressed people. They're, they're easy to be around. Yeah. Right? Very low maintenance. Right. Uh-huh. My girlfriend in college, she's depressed. And I used to ask her, I go, hey, what do you want to do today? She's like, eh, nothing. I'm like, done. <laughs> so weak. All right. I felt like a provider. Uh, <laughs> <right. Jackpot. laughs> that was great. Yeah. Uh, the hyper people make me... Uh, Anxious, like, because they uh, people assume I want to do whatever they want to yeah, do. Let's like, go hiking, let's go backpacking, yeah. let's go ride bikes. Oh, that's be f- oh. that'd be great. You do those things? <laughs> no, my, my oh. least favorite question when someone asks you, they don't even tell you what they got lined up. They're like, What are you doing tomorrow morning? I'm like, Uh, screening your call. Bob and Tom, if you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still. Poop. You can pick your morning radio show. That's service. Hey. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee. we got a very special guest coming up. It's Jeff. There he is. Yeah. Jeff Dunham. He's got a big Valentine's Day special coming up called I'm with Cupid. It premieres February 3rd. So it's not like the t-shirt that says I'm with Stoop. Exactly, Tom. Well done. Way to pick up uh, on oh, that. With the arrow pointing at you. Uh-huh. Hey, Jeff. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I gotta say, I, it's been a while since I've been on with you guys. You guys got a switcher and a whole deal. This is a high yeah. tech thing you yeah. got going. Damn oh, yeah. right, damn right. We got to keep the gerbils running to keep the engine going. But other than that, we're fine. Yeah. But I'm a. Fa- That's I'm, amazing. I'm a fan of the. Um, how can, this is going to come out wrong. Of course it is. Um, the um, the uh, what's got? How, how do I say this? The excellent way that you use a traditional form of entertainment with your uh your your friends how does that sound you're, you're let, me, let, me, let me reinterpret let me reinterpret that it's amazing that you use this old tired art to get anybody out to a show that's what you just said <laughs> I, I, no it's a to me it's better i love it that it's not ai or you know, CGI, CGI, or, yeah, yeah well, that's exactly. It's it's real. This is happening. Tom, Tom, I, I I appreciate that, Tom, very much. And you know, uh, it is. I, I do think that's one of the kind of interesting things about this art form is if somebody does it well, that it's a little bit like their own special effect. Um, you've got this inanimate object that suddenly comes to life, and if the person that's doing it is good, it really comes to life, and that suspension of disbelief is is uh, gone, and uh, there is there, and uh, uh, yeah, you've got your own special effect going, and there's a, there's a thing that shouldn't be alive, actually alive, and telling jokes and ad libbing, and see that that's what's interesting to me. I'll just do a side note here. So uh, Disneyland used to have the Bear Time Jamboree, right, mm-hmm. which was yep. just like Chuck E. Cheese. They had the in- the in- mm-hmm. in- come to life, and it's robots, and it's the exact same show every time Mm -hmm. this is how you can show to a comedian how an audience is different because you bring in you you, you, they would fill that theater up with a slice of americana and foreign folks in there and the the bears would be singing and dancing and telling jokes and people are laughing and clapping and having a great time get that audience off bring another audience right in same time same temperature of the room show is exactly the same jokes don't it's all on computer but the the show dies and people are going well these guys aren't funny this sucks that shows you how different audience are sure and different are and it shows you how important it is if a comedian knows what he or she is doing you got to be able to read that crowd and go well this is not working i better go this direction mm. so uh anyway i went on a tangent but uh, that <laughs> no, was I, my- yeah but no but i am a fan and i still get that mind trick where I start listening to the, forgive me, to the dummy, <laughs> I, I still get fooled, and I start, you kind of forget, wait a minute, who's in charge here? Jeff, have you ever had a, a, a fan come up afterwards and say, I cannot believe what uh, Walter said tonight? What do you do when he says things like that? Did he, <laughs> did they... See, that's, that's the reality. Right, right. Well, see, my favorite thing, though, is uh, the, the years of the 20 years of doing comedy clubs, when I would come in to like to you guys and do the studio live, you don't know how many times that the sound guy, the engineer, before the thing would be setting up and then would set up a mic for me and put up, and even during the set would, or, or when it would begin, it would panic and get another microphone and put it in front of Walt. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Wow. Now, does uh, the, the new special from Jeff Dunham is entitled I'm with Cupid. Uh, dare I ask? I think I know the answer. Who's playing Cupid? 
<laughs> yeah, that's Walter, and he calls it elder abuse. <laughs> he, he's dressed up and he's he's pretty much naked with a diaper on and some wings and a halo and uh yeah it's uh it's it's not right but it's <laughs> when you first see it it's laugh out loud funny so uh yeah, yeah he's not uh, happy jeff I, i've got a, a, a question for you with regard to the early days of doing what you're doing what was your first uh late night tv appearance and who was with you on stage Wow, that's a great question. Nobody's ever answered, asked me that, Tom, and I love the answer to this. I was in college. I had, uh, at Baylor University down in Waco, Texas, I had won a competition called America Collegiate Talent Showcase, whatever, whatever it was. And they got me on a show on HBO called Campus Comedy. Wow. This had to be 1983, 84, and it was hosted by Joe Piscopo. <laughs> And we went up to Tufts University in Boston and shot this thing. And the one thing that I, I did pretty well, I didn't have any of the characters that I have now. It was just a typical little ventriloquist dummy that I had. Um, uh, but the one comment that I kept getting that really got me a lot of work was that I was completely clean compared to everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, on HBO, I was clean. No, that never happened back in those days. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was and that was sort of the the dawn of uh, of of comedy on late night TV, and then then with cable TV, it really started to change. And then they then they kind of sure. cut up comedians, and, and, put, and you could hear a lot, and you could hear a lot of stuff that you never heard before, and and that people were taking advantage of that because uh, you know the days of Lenny Bruce being arrested and taken away were completely gone. Uh, you could say just about anything. So uh, did your first did, did your first um, uh, uh, character slash dummy have a name? Yeah, his name. That wasn't my first. You, you know, for years, up until I got uh, figured out uh, Walter and Peanut, for years I was trying to find my everyman. So, you know, you got Bugs Bunny, you got Kermit the Frog, you got Mickey Mouse. Those are the, the guys that are the, the, the center of the hub of the wheel of their universes. And I kept trying to find who is that guy, who is that defining character. And uh, so, yeah, I was using the typical little wooden ventriloquist dummy for years and years, and his name was Archie. It's just a typical <laughs> little boy dummy. And uh, I mean, if people can see over here, uh, so back in the corner there, there's some typical ventriloquist dummies back there that are really old and scary. And that one in the middle is my first dummy one that I got when I was eight years old. Aww. Little plastic. Aww. Yeah. Little plastic water. Yeah, I had, so. a, I had a little um, knucklehead smith. <laughs> Remember that one? Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, Jerry Mahoney. Yeah, Jerry Jordan Mahoney. from Paul Winchell. Yeah, Paul Winchell, yeah. yeah. Well, Paul Winchell, by the way, yeah, I, went from making dummies to working on artificial heart valves. Seriously, really? yeah, he was, yeah, he was an inventor. He and he would, he was uh, uh, pre Jarvik uh, artificial heart, and mm. um, uh, yeah, and then and then he went on to Paul Winchell went on to do all kinds of voice work. I mean, he was Tigger. Um, do you remember the scrubbing bubbles? What were they called? Um, oh, anyway, sure. Commercial. Yeah. yeah wow. He did all kinds of. Voice. Um, that uh, people don't realize. Do you, do you do any so. weird stuff that nobody knows about? I mean, in the world of voice work, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you know what? I, I honestly, I I've uh, been on the road doing these arenas since so seven oh eight, and I don't ever take any time off, and I don't have any time for other projects. And it's like people say, you want to do this and this. And I'm like, well, that that's not as much fun as the road and it doesn't pay as well as the road. And I, you know, I've got these, we've been do, doing these, uh, these tours for a long time and I've got 12 crew guys and uh, we we're like a giant family and it's, you know, it's like a bus and truck, man. We just uh, go gig to gig and we average, you know, five to 12,000 people a show. And it's just, how, you know, somebody asked Leno one time, when are you going to retire? And he goes, let me retire. Let me get this straight. I get on a plane, I fly to a gig, I get off the plane, I walk on stage, I talk for an hour and a half, people laugh their butts off, I, and they give me a standing ovation, I walk off, they hand me a big check, I get on the plane and I go home. What part of that do I need to retire from? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, I just... It, and there's nothing better than making a bunch of people laugh. It's just like, it's cathartic. And you guys know that. When you have a good morning and the show was great, you don't know why, but you just know it was great. And even though you've done it forever, sometimes you walk out of there going, this is really not a bad gig. I love this. Yeah. So that's... Yeah. 1923. That's kind of <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we did that the first 10 minutes this morning. It's yeah. been downhill ever since. Let me ask you this, <laughs> without getting uh, too deep in, into your personal life, uh, you, you say it's, it's great to make a lot of people laugh. 
Uh, do you find sometimes that uh, you have to resist uh, so the the phrase "throwing your voice" in in intimate moments oh, with people? Oh God! And, Here we go. I was I was always wondering <laughs> if like at Senior Wences's funeral, if someone went up to the casket, picked it up, and went, "All right." Oh. All right, Sonny. Yeah, uh, uh, in, in intimate moments. Now, there's always a, a, <laughs> there's an interpretation of that word. So, uh, uh, yeah, there's no dummies in the bedroom if you're asking that. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, if you're he's if, a clean comic. No, no, no. I mean, like, if he's at dinner with his with his wife, and does she go, "If you do that thing again, when the waitress <laughs> comes up, I'm getting up and leaving." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there have been times. I used to I used to do that kind of crap in class in the classroom in you know high school and college and stuff. So um, I, I would say one time this had nothing to do with ventriloquism, but the teacher thought it was. Do you remember those laughing boxes that were in a bag? You know, mm -hmm. ah, 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 those things. Okay. So I made one radio controlled, and this was in the '80s. I was at Baylor. We had this giant lecture class, and the the, the professor would stop. It was two hour. What were the hour and a half class? And halfway through, he would stop and do the joke for the day. And it was always a you know horrible a horrible joke from this professor. So I made this little box, a radio controlled, and I put it in the trash can at the front of the room. So and here this class was. How many in a lecture class? What do you got? Like 50 people, 60 people. And uh, he stops for the joke for the day, and he tells the joke, and it's a lame joke. And then I hit the button, and the thing starts laughing. Starts laughing. He stopped. He looked down. He looked up at me, up in this mass of students, and goes, "Mr. Dunham, are you doing that?" <laughs> so, that was a that was a huge compliment. But I sat there like me. How, how would I? Yeah. So yeah. Well, Jeff, uh, the the comedy special will be featured on uh, Comedy Central. I'm with Cupid. And it starts airing uh, in a couple February days. February 3rd, right? yeah, two days. Yeah, it starts airing uh, Saturday night. And uh, by the way, there everybody's in it. Peanut, Walter, Jose Jalapeno on a stick, Bubba J. And there's another character that has kind of been banned from television. Uh, he's still in my live show, but he does not make an appearance on, on in the special. However... There is another character that looks suspiciously like him, but he plays a Greek god, and his name is Achimedes. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> well, uh, and uh, look look for uh, Jeff on tour uh, out there and uh, on television, of, of course, Comedy Central coming up in a couple of days. Thank you, Jeff. Always a pleasure. Hi, Jeff. Always great being with you guys. Thanks for having me. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, no, uh, <clears throat> Christy, you, you, know, thought, yep. you thought I was implying that he would. <clears throat> manipulate his wife. Yes. Hey, okay, sorry. That's not what Yeah, that's intention. what I thought you meant. You can imagine Senior Wentz is in bed, though. No. So tight. Was yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> so tight. So tight. So tight. So tight. Yeah. What's going on down there? <laughs> Leave me alone. What's going on down there? That's what you would do. Uh, Once. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, I've learned that, that would be that would be very bad. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, right now, How's your 2024 going? I think so far so, so good. good. Yeah, oh, nothing could go wrong now. Yeah, uh, but uh, maybe you uh, feel like it's uh, what is isn't Groundhog Day tomorrow? Yeah, sure is. Does your uh, does your food life sometimes feel like Groundhog Day? Like, well, here we go again, same restaurant or same this or same that. This is where HelloFresh can step up and help you out. You can get rid of those blahs in your food life. By uh, incorporating HelloFresh into your food life a couple nights a week, maybe even more. What I'm talking about, of course, is the service that is provided by HelloFresh. What they do is they do the shopping, they do the measuring, they send you the box, all fresh ingredients. You put them together, you've got restaurant-quality food that's uh, uh, significantly more inexpensive than uh, getting takeout. Plus, it tastes better, and uh, and you helped out, of course. And uh, HelloFresh has all kinds of different options every week. Uh, a few dozen options, as a matter of fact. So, and this would include uh, low cal or low carb or good old fashioned comfort food. Whatever you're into, Chris, you've been working on some stuff over there. What you got? And this is one of my new favorite recipes because it's easy to make. It's on the table quickly and low in calories and carbohydrates. Pan seared sweet soy glazed pork with roasted carrots and broccoli. Six easy steps, and once again, you have a wonderful meal from HelloFresh. And again, if you've got that uh, Groundhog Day feel about your food life, this is a great idea. Just give it a shot. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Now, why is the code BT Show Free? Well, that's one free breakfast item per box with an active subscription for life. So uh, join up at HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. And once again, that uh, free breakfast in each box uh, with your active 
subscription. Once again, HelloFresh.com slash BT Show free. By the way, a lot less food waste, which is very important. And you're going to clean the plate because the food is the plate is uh, the food. The food is so good. You're going to mm-hmm. clean your place just like your kids will. Now, uh, coming up in the news, we've got Christy Lee, a bizarre story about something called the puffer fish. Yeah, which sounds sweet and delightful until it kills you. Uh, we'll find out about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, don't, don't. I think we're going to take it down a notch and play something romantic. Oh, all oh. right. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, do. Secrets, you're not saying a word. I can't describe just how much that hurts. I thought our love was honest and true. Mm. You're guilty, baby, and your silence is proof. Not up to me this time. I'm leaving it up to you, baby. I'm leaving it up to you, girl. I'm leaving it up to you, baby. Don't you tear apart my world. I'm leaving it up to you, baby. I'm leaving it up to you, girl. Well, I just can't believe that you're deceiving me. It's a slow dance for Jayla and Christy Lee, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a lady's choice, obviously. (laughs) (laughs) You come home looking like you've been caught in the rain. Smelling like cologne. And it ain't rain for days. High karate time after time. I say this can't get much worse. No, no, no. You've got cheating in your eyes, girl. And your drawers in your purse. Oh. I can't read your mind. Hey, we've been living a lie. It's not up to me. like high karate.
fantastic. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a bad shoe. <laughs> <laughs> And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Hey, it's comedian Roy Woods. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. I love this song. It's Duke, right? Mm -hmm. It's Duke. Mm -hmm. It's, it's Mr. Duke Tomato, right? Mr. Mr. Duke, no, Dr. Duke. Dr. Duke, yeah. Don't we have something special planned for right now? I thought we did. We do? Or is that uh, am I a day behind? Or, um, <laughs> day ahead? I think, day ahead? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> News we failed. <laughs> Every That's moment. That's Friday. Tomorrow. Every moment that ahead. we're all together is special. Very special. Oh, shut up. You thought it was oh, Friday, didn't you? I thought it was Friday. Yeah, that does okay. happen that happens. very often. Oh. Happened to me last Thursday, remember? Yeah, I thought it was when Friday. It when well, it now, does. It's... Interestingly enough, tomorrow is Groundhog Day. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes it feels like uh, our lives feel like Groundhog Day. That's one of the great movies of all time, in my opinion. Um, Despite the fact Annie McDowell, she's in it. great in it. Nope, Stop she it. almost single-handedly ruined um, it. I don't care if she knows it or not. <laughs> God. So I don't want to make Andy McDowell upset. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lunatic. <laughs> It's a great movie. Uh, the, the, the premise is terrific. It's fun. I, I saw it once. So I didn't. It was okay. <laughs> Ned Ryerson is. I would in need it. to see it every. You 10 know what? Minutes. It's closer to what Christie's saying <laughs> than what Tom's saying. It's a yeah. fine little movie. Okay. It's right. okay. Fine. Um, I think it says a lot about contemporary culture. Perhaps uh, it sometimes it seems like it's the same thing over and over again. Back to you, Christy. See what yeah. I just did in there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I have Here a we go. Oh. Oh, hey. Um, you referenced uh, uh, Post Malone earlier in the no, show. No, I think. Uh, hey, Post. What? Hi, Post. Hi, Post. Hi, yeah. Post. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we were talking about what Al's, a high post was Al with said, Al Jackson. Uh, yeah. and, and, the, and, the, and the high post was. I forget. I forget. <laughs> Setting a high bar. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. You're the one that got it correct. You should know. No, I guessed. I didn't know. But it, but then someone said Post Malone. He's the guy that has all the tattoos on his face. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yikes. Very talented man, Good though. Good stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I've heard him sing. He's a, he's a great singer. <laughs> Yikes. I'm, I'm so unhip. I, I thought Post Malone was about Ted Danson's career after Cheers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she played, <laughs> played uh, Sam, Malone. Sam Malone all that way. <laughs> I had to really think for a minute. Christy, what have you got over there? Change the subject. Officials in Minnesota have announced the winners of this year's snow plow naming contest. After receiving over 12,000 votes, Taylor Drift came in first place in the uh, state's fourth annual Name a Snow Plow contest. That makes contest. sense that, that would be the winner. Well, at least it wasn't Snow Plow mixed Snow Plow face or whatever. Yeah. No, that's, that's not that, one. That was, I think, the one, one the first year. But wait till you hear what came in second. Clark W. Blizzwald. Ah. Oh. Honoring, of course, the character from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Clark Griswold. The other winners out of 49 finalists were... <laughs> Dolly Plountain. Boy, that's, that's <laughs> what? That's what? Really bad. Doesn't work at all. No. No, it doesn't. Uh, that's not a hat on a hat. That's a pile of crap under yeah, a hat. I think. Hat on a dump. Wapanit, <laughs> a Dakota word for snowplow. That's just. Or Wapanite. No, Wapanit. I don't know. I don't even Be want to guess what Wapanit is. There you go. It's a clean. Uh, uh huh. Uh, never mind. No, no, no. no. Beyond Slay. <laughs> Beyond Slay's not bad. Beyond Slay. Beyond Slay. I think that's, I think that's the best of them, actually. Uh, you're killing me, Squalls. Oh, ah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. What is that one? Sandlot. Oh, the reference to the Sandlot. Yeah, Sandlot. Yeah. You're killing me, Smalls. 
Oh, it's a great little and movie. And a squall would be a storm, of course. Yeah. yeah. You need to see no, Sandlot. You would love it. The what kids would love it. I've never, it would, Sandlot and Sandlot 2, they're both great. I love okay. the way you start oh, every one of these conversations. Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Never I'm not heard aware of it. Of it. Don't know anything about uh, it. No, I'll talk all day about it. It's about uh, young people playing baseball. Sounds like fun. You I've never heard of it. it. Is bye it bye a birdie. recent movie? Uh, no. No, no, no. 90s. 80s. 90s. Wow, okay. It's a cute, little, cute little film. Fast and Flurious. That's funny. <laughs> Not bad. I'd like that one in Beyond Slayer. I think my favorite. And Barbie's Dream Plow. Boring. What about Barbie, Tom? How you feel about Barbie <laughs> in the movie? Huh? Overrated. <laughs> what? <laughs> Almost unbearable to sit through. Sorry. Wow. Goddard and I really love. I it. love. Yeah. It. yeah. It's really. great. Oh, good yeah. Time, real guys. funny. Funny. Witless. Funny. <laughs> hey, look. Hot you can there. say I. I'll, you can say you didn't care for it, but to say it's witless is just completely no, that's, incorrect. That's, that's his go-to. The, mm -hmm. the term. Yeah, witless. but it's like yeah. it's like the the least accurate description of that movie. Really? What's witty about? It's it? very witty, and then it it's turns really well serious, clever, which yeah. is what I didn't care for. When, but when, when in the end she has it's her pretty period. look at. Oh, that's funny. What? That's not what I mean, happens, but yeah. it's all right. No, it's one little what joke at the end. It's hardly the wait, whole movie. Wait a minute. I, I have to admit, with Tom's uh, observation, uh, I'm curious about seeing Barbie ever be. I got to tell you. And then she gets Kotex chocolates. You didn't see that part? Yeah. Okay. Huh. A New Hampshire woman has been wait rescued. Wait a second. You, you, I, I want you to read the, the previous winners. <sighs> we already talked about one of them. Plowy McPlowface. Darth Blader. Blizzard of Oz, Scoop Dog, and Han Snowlo. This is all so stupid. You're so bad. Really? <laughs> now, now that's witless. That? <laughs> but they named it Taylor Drift. Yeah, right. that was the winner. Um, okay, beautiful. So we can shut up about it for one year. Okay. <laughs> A New Hampshire woman was rescued after she <laughs> fell into a dumpster and got compacted into a garbage truck. Good. Hope she's dead. She's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what she gets. She's witless. Uh, Queen <laughs> clumsy. Man, what, witless. A, what a nightmare. The Manchester Fire Department reports the woman had fallen into the dumpster while throwing out her garbage <laughs> and became trapped in a trash truck when the dumpster was picked up. So uh, scary. How, how do you do that? Yeah, you're right. How did she not uh, how do you, uh, a, how, a, how do you fall in? And B, how do you not get out? What's going on According here? According to WHDH. Uh, uh, formerly HGH. <laughs> human trash. growth hormone. <laughs> the trash truck driver called 911 as soon as he saw the woman fly out of the dumpster and into his truck. <gasps> By then, however, the driver had reportedly compacted the garbage up to four times. <laughs> so he didn't call them yeah, as soon as he saw right, her. Right, right. Hey, is that, a, is that a dummy? I'll crush it four times and see. <laughs> Man. Mm. Rescuers used a basket ladder to reach the top of the truck, lift the woman, woman out, and take her to the hospital. She sustained minor injuries and is recovering from the ordeal. I have a problem with this story. Go. So did they compact the garbage four times before she fell in? Or did she fall in and then they compacted it four times after You're she fell in? You're the one who wrote the story. A after she fell in, that's what it sounds like to me. I, I think it's confusing. Hmm. I read this earlier today and I was like, wait a minute. When I saw the story on the news, they showed the dumpster and I'm like, how did she fall in? Is she incredible short? Maybe. Uh, short yeah. people have problems sometimes. I get that she fell in and I get that she couldn't get out. Some of those things are deep. It's like, uh, yeah. I mean, I, you have trouble getting out of a ball pit, let alone right. a garbagey. Slippery, whatever. Right. But I okay. don't... What? Yeah, here's a different account of it. Okay. I was done. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I just... I, I, no, no. You were done. Yeah. Yes, Tom. <laughs> it says, neighbors heard her screams. <laughs> <laughs> and the trash compartment was equipped with a camera. The driver spotted the woman stuck inside and called 911. By then, the driver driver had reportedly compacted the garbage up to four times. Okay. Ooh. So the other version that says he saw her flying out. So he's looking at a camera at the garbage, um, and uh, this calls it her misadventure. Something's weird here. I know. That's what I'm saying. There's something doesn't add up Well, good. Me. thank goodness she's all right. Sure, she smells awful. Yeah. Sure. She had to have a shower for sure. Oh, man. Yeah. She looks really thin. No. <laughs> she looks a little boxy. <laughs> wow. I, there's, there's something going on there. What is that? Uh, what is the movie where Omar Sharif gets compacted down into his car, and he, but he's still alive? And he is it top? I think it might be top secret. 
Oh. You hear, uh, you hear a horn. <laughs> you can see his face through the windshield. Oh, yeah. Remember this? Honk, honk. Don't think it. And, and a trash compactor in Star in the original Star Wars, isn't that one of the things? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah it's an entire room that com right. compacts the trash down. Yeah. It's scary. And they start screaming. And, and then of course, is it oh, listen, Toy Story, is it see, Toy Story 3 where they... Uh, Oh, jeez. That's a scary one. Yeah, the, yeah, our, the, the, our, the our incinerator. Down, down the hill into the incinerator, and Mr. M Mrs. Potato Head are holding their hands. Yeah, yeah, it's so sad. Good God, is that sad. <laughs> that is. Yeah, sorry. This is sad. A Brazilian man has died after cooking up a deadly puffer fish that was given to him as a gift. Oh, Yummy. Geez. You know, I have a theory on this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the name of the fish. Yeah? A puffer fish sounds kind of fun. Yeah, but they're known to be poisonous. Super venomous. Yes. But I'm just saying they need to rename this thing. According to the website Newsflash. Like poisonous they... spine fish or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, the Grim Reaper. <laughs> something. The Don't Eat Me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the man named uh, Magno Sergio Gomez and a friend had never handled the species before, but allegedly gutted the fish, boiled it, and ate it with lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Brazil reportedly home to 20 species of puffer fish, also known as blowfish, which possess tetradoxin, a potent poison that is deadly to humans. Hey, does this fish, uh, fish taste... To <laughs> Tetrodotoxin. <laughs> Less than an hour after consuming the fish, the 46-year-old and his friend became seriously ill. <laughs> Gomez ultimately passed away after spending 35 days in the hospital. His friend survived. Jeez. And a slow death. Yeah. Good Lord. Oh. Raw puffer fish is considered a delicacy in Japan, where it is locally known as fugu. Uh, how do you spell that? F U G U. Yeah. I think it's fugu, isn't it? <laughs> well, and then I think it's pronounced you. Fugu. Due to the fu fu I think it's a foo. Let's go, you. With, yeah. let's, go, let's go with foo. Due to the the dishes. Norman Mailer. I'm dancing with death over here, ain't I? Norman Mailer used to love it. Due to the dishes, <laughs> dangerous. The naked and the dead. The right. Fugs. Okay. I did, no, I never, never read that. Yeah, the band The Fugs was named after the. Uh, word that they made Norman Mailer use in that novel. Sorry. Due uh, to the dish's dangerous nature, only licensed fugu chefs are allowed to prepare <laughs> the raw puff. You, know, you know, I'll pass. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know there are plenty of other... I don't need lots of other... I think I'll just have a ham sandwich. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of fish in the sea. Most of them won't kill you. Mm -hmm. Again, the name, the puffer fish sounds so sweet and happy. Lionfish are poisonous too, aren't they? They are. Yeah, some, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Some barracuda too. And they mm -hmm. never tell the truth. Oh, no. That fish is lying. <laughs> I'm a dog. No, you're not. <laughs> no, no. Doggy dog. Would you, if you were in Japan and you went to one of these places and there was a licensed uh, fugu prep guy, would you go, sure? No. Oh, that's right. No, because even then they go, there's no. still risk. Yeah. I'm not, no thanks. Wow. That's just crazy. You know me. I'm not adventurous. I'm not going to eat. What was it that you ate that had tentacles still moving in its mouth? Octopus. And, yeah, that yeah. is not happening. No. So we had those. Uh, it, they look like those little uh, tacky uh, octopus you throw up against the wall. Wacky wall crawlers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had them in Barcelona. They were. It was yeah. awful. And it's squirming in yeah. your mouth uh, all the time. No. Yeah. Well, for a little bit until you bite it in half. Then it'll Did yeah, you that's eat how that? you kill it. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. people have died doing that because the tentacles stick to your throat. Sure. Ooh. You got to really chew it up. Yep. Yikes. And you did it. Yeah. Yeah. But I, when I did it, I didn't do it the whole. I didn't eat the whole one. But you would look around a restaurant, and there'd be a beautiful woman there, and she'd be she'd Eating. have a mouth yeah. full of squid, and the tentacles would be splayed around oh. her face, oh. and she would just be choking it down. I had it where they cut it up right there at the table, and it was all squirming, and you just put it in your mouth and eat it like that. No, thank you. Pass, pass. And it didn't taste good enough to justify <laughs> having it. Well, yeah. you know, and who else was in the restaurant with me and Bob? It was Metal Lark Lemon. He was having uh, pretty much the same dish. He loves it. <laughs> Meadow, Meadow, as his friends call him, mm. loved the uh, mm. the squirmy squids. No kidding. Yeah, he loved them. Oh, he gets a pass because he was a member of the Globe Trotter. That's right. Of course. Team. Canadian authorities say thieves have stolen a 500-pound taxidermied... Taxidermied? Yep, you're right. Taxidermied <laughs> polar bear from a resort. 
Royal Canadian Mounted Police said the bear worth about $26,000 Whoa! was taken from the Lily Lake Resort northeast of Edmonton. Well, it's next to the Lily Livered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the incident follows an August 2023 theft from the Sturgeon County Resort on Lily Lake Road where two taxidermy raccoons were stolen. The officials are now asking for the public for any information about these cases. They could be related. How big are is these? this thing? 500 pounds of Are these polar bears. worth stealing? Do you sell them? Is well, that a I fence mean, for taxidermy? Know, well, it's right now, it's a bear market. Yeah, it is. Oh. So you'd want to, you know, be involved with that. For just, you think I'd know. For just a second, <laughs> yeah. I believed you. You were going to give me some information. I, I didn't do I mean, who would steal? This, this is a, whatever the local college fraternity to spread a lot of thigh they uh, <laughs> for their, for their <laughs> all right raise your hand uh, repeat after me we had spread a lot of thigh we had spread a lot of thigh no, this is they're doing butt luges on this thing it's uh, uh, for their winter you don't sociable. think the polar bears and the raccoons are connected no i, I do this is i a, do this is a st- i think there's I some think sort of uh yeah Oh, vet a, out there with yeah. a veteran, uh, veterinarian out there with a Frankenstein complex who's trying to bring these things back to life. Oh, that's a great, I like that. I don't like this at all. I like that storyline. <laughs> That'd be a good movie. Forget about Cocaine Bear. <laughs> like Dr. Doolittle we got, meets yeah, Frankenstein? Yeah. Franken Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the polar bear that's brought back to life. And real quick, two of three. I'm, they're going to find this thing with pan- panties dangling from no, its they're not. head and a, 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 holding a bong. Hilarious. No. <laughs> um, now, um, okay. We have time for this story. Two or three, uh, two of three escaped raccoons are back home after they were lured back home with hot dogs. Mm. According to the BBC, a trespasser let the animals out of their enclosure at Sunderland Training and Education Farm in England. Yes. After about a month on the lamb, Rocket, Rocket and Pinch, the two female raccoons, could not resist. And who can? The temptation of hot dogs sure. left in a crate on the farm and were safely transferred to their newly secured enclosure. Miko, the male raccoon, however, remains at large. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's out having and fun. And very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> they they got to find him. He's out there. Why? He's a raccoon. I think he's doing quite nicely, you I think bet. so? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's... But the hot dogs, um, as bait, That's mm-hmm. that's how they... Um, that's how they get the uh, ladies on the view to come back every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, ladies. There are hot dogs right? in there. Yeah, Is that yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Hot dogs and donuts. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Come on. You'll be fine, ladies. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have more ketchup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now, I want to talk to Christy about her bed. I love my bed. And uh, you're about to upgrade mm-hmm. the sleep number bed because uh, you got a, a husband now. Yes. And uh, the uh, sleep number bed is designed. I the, caught it, one. It, it's the perfect bed for two. It's the perfect bed for one because sleep number has perfected. They have perfected adjustable firmness. Now, I have asked you this many times. Mm-hmm. I know the answer. Your yeah. uh, sleep number setting on your smart bed is what? 35. Meaning what? I like a soft mattress. And and for the purposes of this discussion and in the purposes of the truth, your husband, Andy, likes a firm mattress. Yes. So his setting is? 100. Aha, so both of you can be happy and you can change the setting at the touch of a button. Very good. Your sleep number <laughs> smart bed has its sleep number setting. And by the way, you can be extra smart right now because sleep number is having their big president's day sale and it's starting right now. You can save a staggering 50% on the sleep number limited edition smart bed. And by the way, there is some special financing offers that are part of this deal. So you can check this out right now at sleepnumber.com slash BT show. Now, uh, just to take it out, have someone else uh, do a little analysis. Mm -hmm. How about J.D. Power? They analyze all kinds of things and rate them. And guess what? The Sleep Number Smart Bed is number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. The Sleep Number Smart Bed winning the awards. If you want to check it out, go to jdpower.com slash awards. Only at Sleep Number, that's where you find it, the Sleep Number store. So visit your Sleep Number store to find it. Go to sleepnumber.com slash show. Get all the details on these uh, special offers right now with special financing that President's Day sale on the limited edition Sleep Number smart bed. We're coming back with your history lesson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. How I do get sentimental About me carefree days as a lad We never had toys that were store-bought We would improvise with things that we had We made forts out of cardboard boxes Yardsticks were swords or were spears But of all these things none Gave the hours of fun like me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier. It was of the finest label, canvas, lace, and stainless cable. Me mother's gigantic brazier. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I leapt from the roof of the garage, though I was but six or seven years. Oh, I would have broke me back, but I clung fast, fast to the straps of me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier. Wing nuts, cleats, and spoiler, brass grommets, and cup holder on me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> We tied the bra between two trees. <laughs> the neighbor boys they wore, they did declare. <laughs> we ended the attack with six pumpkins and two cats flung from me mother's gigantic <laughs> brazier. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, <laughs> me mother's gigantic brazier. Delicate flower appliques, eight track tape and safety chains on me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> One time we used it to slow down our dragster <laughs> or parasail behind our boat. Then there was the time it was used to airlift an injured skier <laughs> off a treacherous mountain slope. <laughs> but most, I think, of my father's pride when wash day it was done as he hoisted it up the telephone pole <laughs> to billow in the sun. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier with an awning and screen door could sleep two family of four. It's me mother's gigantic brazier. Oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier. Reinforced hydraulic winch, reflective tape, and three-point hitch on me mother's <laughs> gigantic brazier. There's a bone in there. <laughs> That's really going to hurt. That's going to hurt. <laughs> Hold on a second. Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom? Yes. Yeah. 
Bob Vila. <laughs> Bob Vila, the uh, Hiya, Bob. famed famed home repair host. How is how's it going, Bob? Uh, pretty good. Good. What can we do for you? Hey, you know, you guys are talking about something. It's pretty common. Uh-huh. <laughs> a lot of the home repair guys do it. I do it all the time. What's you actually, that? You actually take a nail and pound it into your penis on purpose? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, really? Do you, do you use a nail gun or do you use a regular traditional hammer and nail? Oh, I, I'm, I'm not a conservative guy. I just use a nail. Okay. Oh, okay. In fact, I was at the hardware store the other day picking up a nail just for that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, I uh, took it up to the counter. The guy goes... Uh, That'll be a dollar. I go, great. He goes, that'll be a dollar four with tax. I go, tax? <laughs> Where do I am? Kinky? Uh. <laughs> tax, too. <laughs> Hi, this is Ross Bennett, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. We're speaking with Mike Armstrong, comedian, former cop, uh, cop in Kentucky. We're not going to say exactly where you were, cop. We were walking around downtown. In, this guy's in laying uniform? On, yeah, this guy's laying on the sidewalk. He's laying there going, <laughs> and I'm like, shut up, you drunk fool. Mm-hmm. And I got him over to hood of the car, and this woman walks up, and she goes, excuse me, officer, you might just want to let him lay there. He just jumped from the 10th floor. <laughs> 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 Oh my, <laughs> my wife's like, what'd you do now? You're on TV again. <laughs> what did you do? You're on this officer, Mike Armstrong. <laughs> made matters worse oh on Thursday night. Do you want to don't drink? <laughs> yeah, the guy, but he sued me. Uh-huh. <laughs> he I'm sued you? To, yeah, how am How are you supposed to, to know he's not a drunk? Yeah, that's what I said. No. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. <laughs> That's how you know you're too high. Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. Bill Murray? Bill Clinton? <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob really? and Tom show. You know, all of us in the room are ha- <laughs> uh, and Tom's last nerve are having a big party. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How you doing? Is it time for a history lesson? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I have no idea what's going on. That's February 1. Yeah. Or they call it UNO. February UNO. End of dry um, January. 2-1. Yeah. 2-1. Oh, 2 one two four. What about 2-1-2-4? And coming up, it'll be 2-4-2-4. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Holy hell. What are we going to do for 2 4 2 four? We should do something special for 2 4 2 four. Well, I guess we'll go to church. My that's sister's the, birthday. That's what day it'll Oh, be. is it Sunday? Yeah. Who? Um, My sister's birthday's two four two four. I thought you told me you didn't want to ever speak to her again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, yeah. In 1964, on this date, the governor of the state of Indiana, Matthew Walsh, um, initiated a move to ban the song "Louie Louie." Oh yes, good for him. I still believe it should be banned. Uh, Do you? Really? They're filth. Nothing but smothering in there. They're cursing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Uh, I don't like it. 68, uh, Chick McGee, Vince Lombardi stepped down as the coach of the Packers. And took went a year to, off. Went to D.C. And went to the Washington Redskins. That's exactly right. Um, I didn't know that. On 82, Late Night with David Letterman premiered on NBC. I loved it. Oh, I Who could did not, it? I could not wait to watch it. I Every know. single night I watched it. Man, um, so many funny bits. I even watched the daytime show he had before that. Oh, you yeah. did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wasn't, yeah. Yeah. Man. Big, big doings. I was that it. with Mary Tyler Moore or something? What was no, no, that was Mary Tyler Moore show. was a CBS show, yeah. I think. They had on I mean, he was real time. funny. When he went to CBS, all, obviously some great stuff, but that those NBC days were just oh. some of the wildest, yeah. weirdest. That was the Velcro wall and, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. and the watermelon. Larry Bud <laughs> Melman and... They oh, had trouble with the alka seltzer Chris suit. Elliott as the upset father oh, guest. I love Chris Elliott. <laughs> the guy under the seats. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 2004, Janet Jackson had the famous uh, quote-unquote oh, wardrobe, oh, oh, wardrobe oh, malfunction and during Tom the Super Bowl halftime show. I'm with Tom. I mean, that was clearly What a, year? Uh, 2004. Oh, okay. And Who it, believed it was an accident? It that it certainly it wasn't. Nobody. Why would she be wearing it? They that? were covered. I, uh, yeah. Odd. Odd. Yeah, would it be would it be okay now for something like that to happen, or would it be worse? I think it. I think it would be. People would be going, "Oh yeah, well they're covered." Remember so the whatever. stat back then? It was the number one TiVoed moment. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, what if they ruin, ruined radio for a couple of years? Got the FCC yeah, hot, all hot mm-hmm. and bothered. A lot yeah. of rewinding going on. Uh, let's see. How about some birthdays? What do you say? All right. Um, ooh, Rick James. Bitch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the old <laughs> <laughs> The kind uh, you don't take home to mother. 
a famous uh, women's rights activist, uh, Rick James. <laughs> Super freaky. No, wait a minute. No, it's a 1940. Oh, here's a, this, uh, see if you know this one. Is, uh, Ace will know this one. Born in 65, Sherilyn Fenn. I love, I uh, had the biggest in, uh, crush on her. Twin Peaks, right? Yes, yeah. 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 Um, and she was in uh, the Armand DeSante movie that was... Uh, yes, a Fatal, fatal attract, Instinct. A fatal Instinct, yeah. that was it, yeah. There's a chart of her career. It's a Fenn diagram. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a very interesting <laughs> Fenn diagram. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's where Armand yeah. DeSante goes to his uh, closet, looks at what suit to wear, and they're all the exact same, and he's going... <laughs> Let's see. It's so, <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, here's a question for you. Uh, born in 1968, a uh, friend of the show, Paulie Shore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you seen what is about to happen with who he's about to portray? Yeah, Simmons. is it going to happen? I have, yeah. Richard Simmons is not happy about it. No. Apparently, they're going to make a movie about Richard Simmons. Mm -hmm. There's oh. a short out there. Oh, there is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Um, let's see. Uh, Nobody called him Dick, did they? Dick Simmons. Dick Simmons. That oh. sounds like a good business name. Dick Simmons? Dick Simmons. He, I, I believe he would ca often call out for that. <laughs> He's ahead of Dick. his cars. Okay, thank you. Can we get some Dick? Uh, Ronda Rousey, born in the state in 1987, the, uh, the famous wrestler. Well, fighter, yeah. Fighter. Terrific fighter. And then uh, Harry Styles, the great, oh, the great oh, yeah. singer, 1994. One Direction. And uh, he's got a bunch of great solo stuff, mm -hmm. don't you think? But right now, it's time to review what we learned on today's show. That's exactly right. Here's things we learned on today's show. Tom had a dog issue this morning. Before he yeah. came into work, he was running behind buddy. all morning. And uh, consequently, we all suffer when something like but that But you, you noticed how nice the room smelled this morning, and it was because I'd been using cleaning products for an hour at my house. Perhaps we could have that uh, done every morning. <laughs> To make the uh, make the studio. I'll bring in like the doggy that. wipes. Why they have a nice why, odor. Okay. Why don't we bring in a doggy to with the wipe? We could all don't bring, bring in a the dog. one that has the fecal, fecal problem. events. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dogs. I cat. would call it an epic. Would we fecal epic. event? Would we ever? If I started doing sports and the dog came over here and crapped, would we ever stop laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I don't think so. Or possibly during a Pat song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, splat. Uh, let's see. Ace drinks vodka, and he likes to chase that with a vodka. Uh, Tom doesn't care for other people or other dogs. Or other people's dogs. No, I, I like other people's dogs plenty. You really don't. You other really people's don't. kids. No, don't, <laughs> uh, nobody calls it booze anymore, Tom said. Well, no, I, I do. Yeah. Al Jackson did. You call it whatever you want. You yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. There you go. You got to start uh, more uh, more iron fist around your house. I got to go buy some hooch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tom gets freaked out by aliens and periods, and, and not necessarily in that order. Mm -hmm. And there really is a product out there. It's a gift for ladies. It's a lovely what's, gift. what's the name of it? The... Let's, Let's have, have sex during your period yeah. chocolate box. Yes. Mm -hmm. From Cotex. Um, okay. Chocolate from, the Cotex. from the Cotex people. From the chocolate box. <laughs> you suppose, you suppose if you work at Cotex, they give you a, a jacket with a like the with logo. your name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And is it, is it, is it, is anybody nicknamed Tex that works there? Okay. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel.